hello. Hello. Hi. Hope everybody's having a uh, swell, jumbly jumbo day. I don't know what the fuck those words mean. I just said words. Hi, Ava. Yellow. How are you on this on this fine day? <clears throat> I trust you're doing well. I trust you're doing well. <clears throat> That's good to hear. That's good to hear, at least. <clears throat> we are back in Sumeru. You just collect these. Give them to me. Yes. Uh... Also found out you don't have to do all of Act 1 to start the event. Well, that's awesome. So you just have to do up to a certain point, and then you'll finally be able to, like... Yeah, so so maybe this is the last... Maybe this is the last one. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll find out, I guess. Um... But, yeah, uh, I, I just want to... I just want to reach the point where I can finally do this event. <sighs> I really want to reach that. Um, and I mean, hey, you know, I might end up continuing the story just out of, like, just out of commitment to finishing Act 1 before I take my break from streaming Genshin. Because <sighs> I'm probably going to take a little break. I don't know if it's going to be, like, like a week long, but it'll be at least a couple streams where... A fair number of streams where, like, I'm not going to stream Genshin. <laughs> because... Ooh, I've been, I've been focusing on Genshin real hard. What are all these for? Oh, okay. I see. 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 So, oh right, I should uh, I should mention so things that I did off screen. Uh, I leveled up my traveler from eighty to ninety. Pretty minor. I just I, I hadn't I hadn't done that yet, so. Yup, I did that. I uh, and I uh, uh, gave them some some dendro artifacts. They're kind of just okay. Uh, literally, this one is literally just here to complete the set because I don't have a dendo damage bonus goblet for completing the set because I'm dummy. Uh, <laughs> but this. This is, this is like, honestly, I, I, I just rolled this today, basically, and I'm like super <laughs> happy with these stats, like what the fuck, what the fuck happened? So I, I, right now I just have it on my Traveler, uh, cause I'm using them for the quest at the moment, but, but yeah, it is a good hat. Look at this fucking crit rate crit damage, what the fuck, what the actual shit? Um, I mean, you know, like... Not exactly anything impressive on here, you know. Not, not like incredible, but I mean, I don't care. Whatever. Fucking min maxing is stupid, anyways. I'm just happy I have like, I don't know, a bit, a bit of a more usable traveler than like the junk that I was literally using. Because <laughs> I was literally working with junk. I was just operating off of like, garbage. <clears throat> I basically just- oh, and I took the sacrificial sword. I just stole it from my Jingchu, who I haven't even finished building, because I'm probably not going to fi f finish building them yet. So, it's just, just easy. Just repurpose it, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, it isn't level 90, but it's progress. It's progress. Progress is progress. Eat hottie. Uh, so I find an answer. An answer to what? Big problem before me. The, the answer that I seek is oh, the withering. Okay, yeah, that's what everybody's trying to answer. Spreading even more rapidly and further so far. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, there really needs to be some way to to resolve that, huh? Wonder what's in here. I'll just investigate point. A potato? A single potato? Potato! 
Amazing. Everyone loves potato. Where would we be in life without potato? Like, be honest. Where where would you be in life without potato? Not here. Where? You know, whenever I see a Dendroculus on my map, I'm like, oh my god, I need to find it. Ooh! Ooh, I found it! Ooh, I found it! Ow. Shit. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so good. That's such a great hiding spot. Uh, potato good? Potato good. Agreed. Potato good. Potato very good. Gimme, 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 gimme. Alrighty. Let's head into Sumeru City. I'm very excited. Very excited to find like a minute. Preferred form of cooked potatoes. Um French fries. French French fries. <clears throat> Second place mm, potato wedges. <laughs> Wait, you know now I'm cheating. Uh third place uh mashed potatoes. As for the actually good potato meals, you know, like the baked potato and all those things, I don't I've never partaken. And frankly, I have always been hesitant to because I am a plebeian who eats three foods. So basically, I just like, I like french fry. I want the french fried. Wait, no, wait, 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 that is not a statement against the french. I do not actually want the, uh, the, the french, the french are uh, probably good people. I don't want the tater tots. I don't have an opinion. I don't really have an opinion on tater tots. That's the thing, right? Like, like, there was, like, like at school, they'd have, like, tater tots, and I just wouldn't touch them. I would just, like, I would just be like, I'm just not gonna get involved. I'm just, nope, just not gonna get involved with that. No, thank you. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, in some ways, it's, it's my fault. It's my fault. I, I, I limit myself, but also, it's my, my taste buds' fault for betraying me so many times the place of alcazar Al alcazar the palace oh my god i can't believe i read that his place i can't but i can't believe i read that his place the renowned palace of alcazar is Al a Al alcazar alcazar you ever heard of that name? Uh, oh, it's an enormous palace in Northern Sumeru. The Palace of Alcazarzare. If you open the door to less standard forms of potatoes, mine would be hash browns. Oh, cool. That's another one that I haven't tried. Uh, because I haven't tried anything. Because I don't try things. Uh, you work for... Uh, I don't work for the merchant next to me. Oh, and I don't need to listen to him. <laughs> Besides, he just does what his employer tells him to do. <laughs> Not you, old lady. Oh, wait, didn't I? I wonder if the children are used to life in the academia. Now they all went to academia, became official researchers, too busy to come home. Use your old bones here. They have a great future ahead of them, no complaints. Ah, kids will grow up. Ooh, delicious butter chicken! What's that like? What is... Ooh, deli delicious butter chicken. Number 15. Delicious butter chicken. The last thing you want in your Burger King burger is delicious butter chicken. I'm kidding. I'm sure plenty of people would like delicious butter chicken in their Burger King burger. 
<laughs> the last thing you want in your Burger King burger. It's is someone's among us. <laughs> someone's among us. <laughs> As it turns out, your Burger King burger might just be sus. Ah, <sighs> good to be here. Good to, you know, really good to be here. You know, where would I be without without being here? Oh, did you see that? Well, that was a crossfade. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. I was so excited by the crossfade. They figured out how to do crossfade transitions. They're they're learning. They're learning camera techniques. It I it, it caught me off guard so much that I skipped Paimon's dialogue. That was a uh, Wow. Amazing. I'm I good job, Hoyo. You know, you're really you're really learning some cinematography here. Maybe, um, you know. Wow. Wow, amazing. I wonder when we'll get, like, maybe we'll get, like, some stingers. Maybe we'll get, like, some swipes. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll get some dynamic, like, like, cross, sc cr like, 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 split screenshots. Oh, that'd be, that'd be really, really some cool dynamic camera work. <laughs> One moment, please, you two, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. <laughs> no need to worry. <laughs> that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Interesting. The fact that, like, God, they just, they just know things. Like, they just... Like, they just know, like, oh, yeah, you're not here. You, you, you haven't been here before. And it's like... This feels very, like, matrixy. This feels very, like, ah, yes, I am hooked into the into the internet. And my thoughts are one with the mainframe. And it's like... Oh! Okay! Hmm. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy, a treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries a treasure of treasure trove of collected the knowledge, Akasha, the academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha terminal. Mm -hmm. As long as you are within Sumaru's borders, you may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical hmm. limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Ormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. I doubt it has gameplay functionality. You are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. How Here's fortunate! Please handle them with care. It's perfect timing. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. You know... But doesn't that mean that I have to work? You know, what if I don't want to be part of your religion? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, this little doodad lets you access knowledge. Maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanari. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. May the mighty God bless us with their voice of, with of, wis of wisdom. Fuck. Yo. Paimon, you got Google Glass? And Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know. Oh god. And bam! You get it. Oh, that'll come in real handy. Exactly. That? And with that? No, I fucking skipped the Welcome you both to Sumeru City. You got a Splatoon. That's really funny. Be your guy. Alright, well, fuck, I skipped dialogue. 
Um, but it's probably, it's fine. It's fine. It's just, um, explaining how this important piece of technology works. It's fine. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is just watchdogs. This is just watchdogs. Did they put watchdogs in Genshin Impact? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Probably not. Are you planning on getting three? Uh, yeah. I mean, I am. Plan it is on the docket for me to eventually get Splatoon three. I want to get it sooner rather than later, but there's a lot of things that I'm that I need to play, and a lot of things I need to do. And I'm a fucking disaster. So you know. Uh, it'll happen. It'll happen eventually, and then we'll be pl be able to play a lot of, a lot of Splat Tim. Well, you know, as much as I'll be able to. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look here. Five hundred years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm. Seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. So everyone passively contributes knowledge to a mental database that everyone can access. I'm sure this can only end well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Wait! 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 Wait, does this mean that, like, now that I'm hooked in, everybody can, like, access all of my knowledge? Uh... This sounds like a phishing scheme. This was a phishing scheme. I just got hacked. I got my brain hacked. No. Now they know about Zhang Li and Venti and a bunch of crazy shit. No. No, dude. No way. Nah, dude. Oh, and they know about Dane's lift. They know about the Abyss. Oh, oh god. They, they're gonna learn everything, man. Oh, this is not. Ooh. I know a lot of forbidden knowledge, guys. I don't know. This is actually, um... I feel like, I feel like they could address that. I feel like they should address that. <laughs> you know, like... The Fatui, thank you for your service. Oh my god, yeah, they're gonna have access to all that information too. Because the Fatui get these too. Because all travelers get them. So then you just walk in, and they'll just get a fun... <sighs> this is kind of ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, alright, alright. So no secrets. There are no secrets in Sumeru. <laughs> there is no war in Ma Sing Se. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Paimon doesn't say said anything. Um, hmm. The Akashi didn't respond to Paimon's question. Hmm. They, they have my card number and expiration date and the three funny digits on the back! Shit! No, 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 How will I play Genshin Impact without that? That's my controller. I, 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 that's the controller for the game. Fuck. God damn it. They got me again. They got me again, guys. God. Fuck. Oh, the same happened to me. It probably feels exactly like that because this thing hooks into your brain or some shit. Ugh, brain is exhausted. I'll try asking the Akasha something else. Maybe I'll indirectly find more information about Kusanali. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? Where, uh... Why think why doesn't the Akasha answer my question? Lesser Lord, well, hold on, because didn't we already, we already thought this. Why doesn't the Akasha answer my question? The Akasha doesn't unconditionally respond to every query. Also, even if the same query is requested by multiple people, the Akasha still imparts knowledge based on each people's identity, uh, age, experiences, and other demographics. Interesting. But what? 
what artificial intelligence determines who has the right to certain information? Who gets to decide? It's just like the god of wisdom? Is the, does the god of wisdom get to decide? Because it feels like there's some sort of like artificial intelligence here. Or maybe just, oh, the academia. Oh, that's right. The academia probably gets to decide. Dude, they're just the... Oh my god, it's fucking... It's 1984, guys. It's actually 1984. It's wrong think. Holy shit. We reached an actual 1984, guys. <laughs> oh no. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Some knowledge began to trickle into my mind for a moment, but there wasn't really anything that I didn't already know. Well, that's good. Well, let's think about the Greater Lord Ruka, Ruka Devata. Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Many great dots of light appeared in my mind. I probably need to calm my mind and focus more to understand what they mean. Feelings of affection, intimacy, nostalgia, sadness, and anxiety also come to my mind. These seem to be what the people of Sumeru feel about their departed Ar Archon. Damn, it, it even like, like, like hooks into like your emotional reaction to shit. Damn. So we can like experience the fucking emotions that people. Oh my god. Uh, well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. This does feel, like, super, like, dystopian, you know? I gotta be honest, yeah, it really does. He's from Sumeru, and even has a position in the <laughs> You can make people love he Among Us. Ah! From the Akasha. Well, no, what'll happen is, y like, everybody's feelings of Among Us are present in the Akasha, so if you're, like, if you think about Among Us, you will feel, you will have access to everybody's emotions, and probably, you know, you'll be more likely to feel like the prevailing one. Um, like, 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 getting to, getting to you. But, like, uh, if, if you, if, if there's, like, somebody who's like, I really hate Among Us, and you're like, oh, shit, yo, I'm kind of thinking about Among Us right now, and I'm really hating Among Us. <laughs> I can feel how much the people of Sumeru hate Among Us. <laughs> what if you're the only person who knows about Among Us, then... No one else will be putting stuff about Among Us into the Akasha, so you'll just add, you'll just think to yourself, "What do what is there to know about Among Us?" And it just kind of is like, "Well, just the stuff that you know about Among Us. That's it. That's all. That's the only stuff that he knows about Among Us. That's it. There's not there's nothing else." And they and they would have to like try to, well, only if they attempt to think about Among Us, but they have no reason to. Why would they think about it? Why would they think? There's, there is no, like, reason, there's no, like, instance where people in Sumeru will be like, oh, let me try and retrieve information on Among Us, this game that I've never heard of that doesn't even exist in our world, right? 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 And so, it's like, you know, because you'd purple elephant them. Oh yeah, you you could be like, oh yeah, ask. That. But then they'd have to. I feel like there's some some like really complex shit going on. You know, it's like, it's like how the words among us, the words among us don't inherently mean the video game among us. They only mean that to people who know that the video game among us exists. So you would probably have to kind of like explain to somebody the like basic idea and then they could retrieve the information because then they would think about it and understand what you're getting at enough probably that's my guess 
That's me throwing shit at the wall to guess at how this technology actually fucking works. Uh, because it's obviously magic and not real technology, but I'm, I'm trying to rationalize it, you know? One thing, one thing that I'm curious of is, like, I wish I could just, like, document everything. One thing that I, like, I love how this derailed into just talking about Among Us and what is essentially a neural network. I, I do really, like, find it interesting that it's, like, this whole society is, like, really, really fucking bizarre. Like... I don't know. Like, I don't know, I'm just- I'm freaking it out. I've seen him- I'm a member of, uh, the Corps of 30. I'm responsible for keeping the peace in Sumeru City. Theft, meanwhile, is the most common crime we see in the more crowded parts of the city. How else can you catch a thief except by being familiar with how thie how a thief thieves? And my younger brother sees me occasionally, very occasionally, mind you, simulate a theft in action. He always exposes my technique. How am I supposed to improve that way? Uh, I, I, I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Hello, are you Rohawi? Rohawi. Wait, what a fucking name! What the yes, fuck? That's me. Can I help you? Great. You see, Tainari sent us here, and what? Tainari? I uh, please. Th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... I, I think you've misunderstood us. We're, we're not here to discuss academics. Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ah! Ooh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. Well, so, we'll get... you two just have some questions for me? Genshin has, like, a lot of varying, like, tech levels. Um, and it really seems to vary depending on the gods and and stuff. Uh, I mean, like, literally there was a telephone. There was a magic telephone in the last, like, summertime event. So, like, the, 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 you know, there's, there's, like, it, the, the tech level varies. Uh, it's definitely meant to be like magic as technology and kind of in kind of some places use it differently and in some ways it kind of ends up mimicking our own modern society and in some ways it doesn't localized knowledge seems to advance this region oh yeah absolutely absolutely yeah th this place seems very advanced because of it um Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring some information. Wait, some of the do do some of those so, guns? What is it you I didn't see like guns. Unless unless there were guns. I haven't seen guns in this game. Oh wait, oh yeah, right in Fatui. The Fatui, the Fatui. Don't don't hold on. Don't <clears throat> the Fatui have guns. The Fatui have literally have guns. The the Fatui literally have guns. <clears throat> Ignore me. Ignore everything that I say that is incorrect. The Fatui have guns. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to meet with Lester Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? <sighs> you mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah. Uh. This isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. <laughs> what? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, I'm almost sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. Hmm. All I know is that a ever lowly since researcher. Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, 
She's never left the sanctuary of Soristana or made a public appearance. What? Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. Hmm. The Very Dr. interesting. Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Hmm. Aww. Very weird. Then what can we do? The Russians have their war technology for They really do. Damn. Here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha. Things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of... Hello! Oh, I'm streaming at the moment, thought I should mention. It's a miracle no my brain cells can spit okay. out one paper every three years. What? No! Can Fuck off! In just a single year. Oh, James has got my what? food! Are you okay? No, he's not. Are you alright, Mom? I'm fine. Okay. Daddy's there. Daddy had a bottle of wine by himself. Oh my god. Fucking uh -oh. Why are you coming downstairs <laughs> now? What is wrong with you? What are you supervising? No, no. My dad, I'm pretty sure my dad is drunk. What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Get out. Leave. Mom, mom had a glass. James had a glass. Tony had a glass. Get, get how, does, how many bottles of wine are in a bottle? I don't... How many bottles of wine are in a bottle? One! One bottle of wine is in a bottle, Dad! <laughs> how, many, how many glasses of wine are in a bottle? Oh my okay. fucking god. How many bottles of wine? Fucking glass? lord. <laughs> uh... Yes? <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, five glasses of wine, all right? Okay, okay. all right. Okay, look at okay. it. Okay. Mom? James? Yes. Tony? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How many are left? Two. two? Yeah. Uh, Same. But you still drank more than everybody else. No, they, they had other drinks on top of them. I see. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right. So, all right. So, how many? How many? <laughs> okay. okay, good night. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for thanks for doing that live on my fucking stream. Jesus fuck. My fucking god. I <sighs> My father everybody. My f fucking dad. <laughs> Jesus. Okay then. Where were we? Where were we? How many bottles of glass? How many how many bottles of glass? <laughs> Fucking god damn it, dude. I fucking can't do I can't do this. <laughs> Alright. Fucking fucking shit. Alright. Yo, yeah, I'll I'll take you. I'll take the moon. I'll take the sun. It's a, wait, what? It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. Yo, mood. Wait, what? Wait, Tainari is an academic? What? Wait, Tainari, you can publish three papers in a single year? What the fuck? Tainari actually publishes pa uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. What? Don't mention it. If you two ever want He's an academic who hates the academia? I, you know what? That's fair. Or I just... Between the six I, great sages, come find me. He doesn't know a lot about flowers and disease. I, you know, you're right. I just, I, I'm surprised. He doesn't seem like the academic type. Huh. 
Well, good to know he's he's pretty knowledgeable. He just doesn't like the the academia, which is why he doesn't have a terminal, I guess. Damn. Wow. That's Oh my god, that's crazy. That's fucking nutty. Also, fuck fucking fucking shit. My head tilted and I couldn't untilt it. I love when that happens. He seems more field researchy. Yeah, he kind of does. Yeah, yeah, I kind of that vibe makes sense. So by area of expertise, you you meant this kind of stuff? Hey, come on! This is a survival skill at the academia. Um. Uh -huh. Damn. No, there's still one other person we know. Wait, who is that? Is that Baiju? No, I don't know. Huh? Like who? Oh! Oh, Catherine! Oh! Ad Astra Abasask. Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! Hell yeah! Yo, this music's kind of adventure-y. I'm liking it. It's a vibe. Alright, let's go. Adventurer's Guild, here I come. <laughs> Catherine, 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 Catherine! Catherine, 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 Catherine! Ad Astra Abasask. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, it's great to see Catherine. you. We need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurer's Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. Oh, please. My head can is all the Catherines are poly and are all poly and <laughs> yeah, But I am unable to call up any relevant information in the account. Damn it! I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Fuck! Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Fuck. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. Yo, let's go! Hi, 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 The Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. Interesting. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. I want to, um, I'm going to just out myself right here because I'm totally guilty and I thought it'd be kind of funny to mention. I definitely read that as the core of Thirsty. I, I, I totally read that as the core of Thirsty. I am, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I'm not sorry. I'm not asking for forgiveness. <laughs> the, the core of thirsty. Uh, fuck. What a weird name. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered thirty at their inception. Asphalt, an advisor with the core of thirty, maintains good relations with the adventurers. I mean, they were all. <laughs> retired, maybe. He and his words carry great M maybe. weight within mercenary circles. <laughs> If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the core of 30's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. Alright, well, thanks a bunch, Catherine. You're I welcome. appreciate that a lot. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. <clears throat> Alright, off to the Citadel of Regzar we go! Alright, time for some exploits. Time to exploit some exploits. Exploitative. Wait, hold on. So, does this it? Can I? 
What do you have? Trust me, just take what? You don't have anything? This is this is just Inazuma again. This is just Inazuma again. What the fuck? Damn, dude. I'm really uh I'm really feeling attacked by this, you know. This is just Inazuma again. Oh god, there's so many new flowers. Maybe the thirsty one was eat truly you all along. Ah! Fuck. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. <laughs> So be it. Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. Classic, uh, nice fucking hive mind. We'd like to ask you about something. Oh shit. We're asking about something. Hold on. Hold on. I see. So Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Alright. Time to drown. Let's go. This is this one's not this was not too bad. I mean it's not a full cup, but it's not it's not alright, this will be this will be good. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> ah That was a good one. That was good. Thank you. <clears throat> that was pretty good. That was a pretty good one. Oh, I might have to. I might have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I might have to go bathroom midstream. Oh God. I'll be fine for a little bit. Ah, it's fine. Hey, right, Catherine. Yeah, Catherine sent us. <laughs> it's true that the Aramites network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Fucking God damn it! Wait, seriously? That's it? Great <laughs> so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than we. We originally came from the desert. Shit. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It I guess fair. Us, if you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? oh. Why is that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late greater lord Rugadavada. Hmm. That's kind of Aramis, fucked. She was the one who founded Sumeru, and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. So she kind of gets shafted? Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada, and hold her in greater esteem. I mean, Not I get it. Not that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? Has it been like that for the past hundred years? After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the god of wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. Hmm. Damn. So we asked a couple people in the city. Hmm. Seems Osbond was right about most people's attitudes here. 
Damn. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, if the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. I love the fucking, I love the fucking, um, the, the quest path appearing in the, in the fucking, uh, cutscene. Honestly, that shit's hilarious to me. It's so distracting. Um. <laughs> it's so distracting for me. It like, it like, it takes me out of it. It's like, all of a sudden, it's like, during the middle of the cutscene, I'm like, constantly being reminded, this is a video game. This is a video game. Video game. This is a video game. Mm. But isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? I speak of the fucking devil, and you will... Ye gee, Paimon. You know, I mean, I guess we did talk to, like, a couple people who didn't give a shit before this, and they're just showing the interesting part. But it's still very a very funny line to say within earshot of someone who gives a shit. <laughs> huh? Who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyarzad, one of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Oh, hey! Oh, this is what we needed. Do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. You think it would accomplish the same comedic effect if I were to remind you every five minutes? Wait, what? What? That, like... That I haven't been able to find anybody who will tell us about the Lesser Lord Kusanali? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is a game? No, no. I think I think that would um, I think that would uh, I think I would lose the comedic effect. I think it's it's the it's it's the fact that like the game will start using the language of cinema, right? It'll it'll start like it'll pan the camera and it'll do these like nice dramatic shots and have the dialogue going, um, and then it'll just be like this video gamey like 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 path marker. Just showing the exact path that they're gonna walk down in the cutscene. <laughs> that shit is- it's like they're fucking, like, sliding along a rail. We even get a Dutch angle or two in certain scenarios. Yo! Yo, cool. I hope they use it in fitting situations. God. <clears throat> Can you tell us the legend? Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago. There was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great so calamity get was about to befall. Room, <laughs> Panicked yeah. by what he heard, basically, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in the hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. See, it's like if in this really nice panning shot. There was just like, there was just like a, a chest just chilling right here with like, with a lock on it and like, and like a couple like, like, like weird out of place puzzle elements just chilling like right, right in view, right? It's, it's, it's like those things are cool when you're playing the game, but when you're like watching the cutscene, it's like, <laughs> what is that? It's like, what does that even do? Why is it there? Uh, you know, it, it's it, it's that sort of like video gamey versus like I just want like a cool cool scenery. You know, you're not showing me cool scenery. You're showing me <laughs> if they had watch an ad to continue the cutscene. Maybe that would that would be pretty hysterical. That would be pretty uh, that would be pretty uh, hysterical. <clears throat> Wouldn't, wouldn't be this, exactly the same, though. Wouldn't be exactly the same, but it would be like a slap in the face. Wait a minute. 
Is this what it's like watching Genshin Impact live streams? <laughs> watch it, having to watch an ad to continue the cutscene. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then what happened? And then, the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it'd be funny for one silly guy, but oh my god, the game would be unplayable otherwise. Yeah, for real. It really would be. It'd be a funny game to make, though. Just, just as like a commentary. Just as a fucking commentary on the games industry. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. Oh. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. We get a satire about how monetization of Along games. your journey, we were in every flower <laughs> and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun, and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. What an amazing story. Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> Uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So, did you two know that, uh... Hmm? Uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Uh, what is it about those guys? Wait, what? Are you... Miss? Uh, what the heck just happened? I think it has something to do with those people over there. It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. Dunyarzad was acting super nervous just now. You think they're looking for her? The the way they're dressed kind of reminds me of those people at the mercenary groups. There's definitely hey, some like. Have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. There's definitely some sort of like scheme by the academia to like, like push down information and like suppress information about the Dendro Archon. There's something going on here. There's something going on here. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrist? Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Lie. Paimon, lie to her. Lie to them. Lie to these guys. Lie to these guys. Lie about it. L Paimon, lie. Uh, yeah, she went that way. Quick, after her. You lied, right, Paimon? <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while. Let's hurry and find Dunyarzad. Hey, but uh, what if they access the terminal and get the information? I'm very curious about how that works. I guess it's- I guess like only like s certain people end up even getting access to your information. I'm curious as to how that works. Look after her. Walks away. <laughs> hey, Junior We thought you might have been long gone by now. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. Uh-oh. Looks like there are some coming this way. What? What is going on? Wait, more of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! No, wait, I... Uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. How about we find some place to hide? Okay, sounds good. 
There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. They probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. All right, let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. Okay. No worries. Ah, this is fucking weird. <clears throat> why are these... I hope we get some explanation. I wonder if she knows why these creeps are following her. shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand down, dear. Uh. Hello. Hello. My lady, who are these two? Wait a minute. Wait, those aren't cat ears? Is this the character you were talking? Those aren't cat ears. That's their hair. Are you fucking with me? Why is the inside look like... Why? Who... Who was in charge of this character design? Who did it? Who did this? Who did it? Who fucking did it? The underside... F fuck... Who is responsible for this? I love this character design, but I am... There are characters with actual animal ears in this fucking game, you know? Their culture is not a... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's not what I'm mad about. I'm mad about it because, like... Why are there so many characters that have a hair that looks like animal ears? And then there's characters like Yai Miko, who has animal ears that look like they're her hair because they're always down. And uh, animal ears in Genshin Impact, everybody, Fu amazing. They're Honestly, incredible. That I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. Um... So, so, so this is one of the people who's trying to hunt you down, huh? I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Um, what if we don't? What if, what if, what if we didn't scram? Wait a sec! You tell him, Paimon, with your Paimonial wrath. I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard. Oh. Here to see that she returns home safe and sound. Oh. I... Oh, that's why you're... Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! Junior Zod already said she doesn't want to go back! Why are you still pushing her? Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How much? Wait, what? How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but... My conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. All right, and you are a good girl. Running around I'll give like that to you. Gonna hurt you. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. 
No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. Probably true. You know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. They still won't accept reality. And every mm. time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. Mm. Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something Ooh. very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. Uh, mm. Don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. Oh! It be easy to hide uh, <laughs> Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, Ten bucks, sister lesbians. <laughs> this way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, asking. Ooh. Ooh. She just, she just said, she just said, like, I admire your term determination, but I don't agree with you. Um, by the way, you only have to pay me half of what your father pays me to hire me. And it's like, whoa! I, 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 <laughs> I love this girl. I love Dia's bias. Oh, let's go. Oh, she clearly, clearly has a bias for Dinyarzad. I love it. Let's go. Yay! Looks like we've reached an understanding. <laughs> oh. Uh, Den Denyarzad, are you alright? I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. Hell yeah. I'm sorry for worrying you too. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure. After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh, Tef, long time to see. Yeah, I, I speed ran through Inazuma. Um, I, I did in fact do that. It, it was a time. There were a lot. Of, I, you can check the VODs. I basically just like started pounding out like fucking acts and i was and here i am now oh my god it was honestly like kind of insane what is it with making mascot characters pauntable and annoying <laughs> oh god it's okay I, you know I, I, it, paimon pa paimon is paimon Alright. Yeah. No! I didn't mean to. <laughs> Oz is at the table! Oz is at the table! Oz is at the table! Wants lunch. 
Oz wants booze. Oz wants some booze. I... Okay, um, that... I gotta go to- I gotta- I gotta- I gotta- I gotta go pee, so just enjoy- enjoy Oz being at the table, apparently. We're not despawning, apparently, forever. It's because I used my alt. Oh! <laughs> okay, so that was- that was- like, that wasn't me placing Oz, right? Like, that was the alt. So, like, Fischl, like, turned into Oz. But, like, Oz was, like, a permanent fixture. And then, like, I don't know what... I don't know what just happened. I... That was amazing. I will be right back. I gotta use the bathroom, as I previously said. What the fuck? Oh my... All right, all right, I'm back. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, Oz sure did sever night from day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that was a fucking journey and a half. My God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, where were we? Ah, yes. Ah, well, it isn't Dia. I haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Wow. All right, I guess this also, thank you for the clip, Ava. Thank you very much for the clip. Oh my god. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for Wait. the Homayani family now. 
Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. Wait, wait, I need to stop here? this. I think my my I think my headset cut out, so I wasn't getting the voice the voices in my fucking ears. That was a problem. How about a menu over here? Did Oz die? Yes, Oz is now dead. That's it. There's no more Oz. Oz did finally despawn. It was sad. I uh, I left him. I left him out to dry when I had to pee. You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? We don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. That's so sweet. Oh, no, no, no need to break the bank, though. We'll... We'll get whatever you order. We'll, we'll pay for our own food. Don't worry about it. Wait, we're paying for ourselves now? Aww, I even kind of wanted to try something fancy. <clears throat> we aren't exactly loaded. Ugh, Paimon. Paimon, get over yourself. How about our coconut charcoal cakes? They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, uh, Avery. Thank you, Avery, for redeeming the ooh woo. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. Slime makes no sense with one of the final financial decisions you can make for the quest line. Oh. Oh boy. We aren't exactly loaded, my ass. Yeah, especially because, like, I have, like, five million more right now. Like, come on. Picky Paimon, now that's a first. Hey, come on! Paimon has personal preferences too, you know! <laughs> okay. Alright. Hey, Chatting! We asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Oh. Really? Hi, fan man. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. Ah! Great to see you. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope you have a good sleep. <laughs> Paimon, we are the bourgeoisie. Shut up. <laughs> Damn, that's... Yeah. Well, hey, at least we work for our money. You know, it's not like we're, um, you know, we're actually harvesting our money straight from the land, you know? We're not, wait a minute, is this, like, oil? Are we, like, are we, like, extracting more from the ground like you'd extract money from the, uh, wait, like you'd extract, like, oil from the ground? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we're Mora Barons playing Dawn of War. Uh, love it for for an older game. Yo, awesome! That's awesome, fan man. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm a Mora Baron. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! See you, fan man. <clears throat> Maybe I'll look into Dawn of War. I don't know. I haven't uh, I haven't heard of it before. I hope uh, I have a good sleepy sleep. And thanks for stopping by. Bah. Yes, it was when I was a child. We're basically fracking. Time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. <laughs> Activating the ley lines is just fracking. Oh god. Oh no. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends. And my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. Wait, does she have Elzar as well? Wait. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. Oh my I was God. terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, 
Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Junior san, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <sighs> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Really? Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking medicine every morning, and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Hey, this is kind of creepy. Wow, you really do know everything. I would not be comforted by, I guess maybe if I was a child. If I was a child, I'd be like, wow, you're so smart. You're such a, wow, you know all these things about me. But I guess as an adult, I'm more like, more like, ew, that's a creepy stranger danger. Eh. <clears throat> Lord Cusinelli probably doesn't have a very good sense of stranger danger. It, it really seems like she has no sense of personal... I, I guess the God of Wisdom, neither of them do. Now that I think about it. I mean, the Akasha is literally, like, fucking, like, depriving people of privacy. In a, in a sense, it feels like. Junior, but I don't know. Is there anything you want? What? <clears throat> Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Would you huh? like to? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Can, uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. But... I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Mm. Then, can you be my friend? <gasps> After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Aww. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samio. Deserts and all of Tibet. Once I finally hmm. made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it. But she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of hmm. my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tibet. So you believe the voice you heard was... Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world. Nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice mm. sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. What's the Subzerus Festival? It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. Oh. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rufidabata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. Mm. The Academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rufidabata. But when it comes to the Subzerus Festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe yeah. they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rufidabata's <coughs> death. So they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful! It is. Mm. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru. Oops, but the time of day changed. Sonali been the one quietly Sorry. protecting us for the past few hundred years? Yeah. <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the Subzerus Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, 
I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Road Kusanali. I gave her my savings because mm. I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be <gasps> Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the estate? <laughs> yes! yes, that's her. Mm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. <clears throat> it seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? What are you jealous? Are you jealous that she might be in lesbians with someone else? What? What is it? Hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much, even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. <laughs> I want strong tan lady to carry me. Hey, uh, sh sh strong, strong tan lady, can you carry me? Please? 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 Please carry me, please. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm sure Mama would carry. I'm sure Vivi would. Yeah, Vivi. Uh, I mean, if she could, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I. Hmm. She definitely would. Yeah. But um. But she wouldn't fulfill- oh wait, but Violet would. Oh shit. Hmm. Alright, well it's a goal. It's an end goal. It's a goal. Eventually, one day I want... I want a strong tan lady to carry me. Oh, right, where was I? Right, uh, <clears throat> uh, can we also come along? Of course. And Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. <clears throat> I'm sure that uh, Nilu will be like, wish I could clip right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, can I see the menu? I would like to purchase all of your, uh, all of your recipes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, what else you got? Oh, fish. Yeah, I could use some more fish. That's nice. Uh, some star shrooms. I really don't need to buy these, but I'm gonna buy them anyways. Get glabrous beans. Beans, beans, beans. <laughs> Yo, spice. Generic spice. I'm so glad I could have generic spice. Let's go. Ah, oh, well, where would we be without generic spice? <laughs> oh, where would we be without generic spice? Probably a garam masala, garam masala equivalent. Considering that it's kind of a standard spice mix. Okay, 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 okay. You see, I don't know- I don't actually know any spices. So me commenting on the fact that it's just a generic spice is more... Like, that's more just me... Like... <laughs> that's more just me memeing. <clears throat> Are you a researcher? I am, unfortunately. Oh. My research isn't the end all, be all to the life. You slog away at work all day, you'll get left behind in life, no matter how brilliant your research is. So you gotta engage more with the people around you. Some drinking and chatting is the way to keep well. Even if the price you pay is doing twice the work in the evenings, but you see students are always coming into the office uh, during the day to ask this and that. So I might as well do my research at night and get some peace and quiet. Take care of yourself, alright? I know, I know, I just can't see myself spending my whole life on research. 
Mm, it's fine. I'll try to drink more milk. Sleep better. Hey, thanks for the milk. What's up here? Hey, this place is pretty. This place is pretty cool. He needs some milk. Somebody give this guy some milk. Honestly, like, this is great. It's um, it's Deluxe Tavern, except you can pull out your weapons. Wait, can you pull out your weapons in in Deluxe Tavern? I feel like you can't. I th I feel like by default Deluxe Tavern has like a. A thing where, like, you, you can't pull out your weapon. Or not Deluxe Tavern, what the fuck am I saying? Because, uh, Angel Share isn't Deluxe. He just provides them with alcohol, doesn't he? Or does it? Does he own it? It is Deluxe Tavern, I thought so. Yeah, he does own the place. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, but, but I'm pretty sure that in Angel Share, like, you can't pull out your weapons. So honestly, you know, so far, like in Sumeru, you can pull out your weapons in the, uh, in the bar. Pretty cool. <laughs> Even bartends it's a second job. Oh yeah, that's true, yeah. We have seen him bartend there. You pull out your weapons, he rips your arms and legs out. <gasps> that door opened! Huh. It opens automatically. They have automatic doors in Sumeru. <laughs> this is the this is the pin, the pinnacle of technology. Man, you know, I got to say I'm really I actually get like the feeling of being in like a public space here like with all like the the dialogue and stuff. I was like, like, for a moment... Okay, well, now they all stopped. But for a moment, I really felt like I was in a place. Because everyone was talking. Yeah, I don't know, it's just like, I just feel like I'm just existing. Side note, De De Luke has definitely... Oh, without question. Without question. That is a D Luke thing to do. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. Uh, sorry I'm late, Milu. Oh, she's pretty. Kills oh, people with throwing lives in the, in the manga. Zod, it was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home. But you made it in the end. Oh, her voice is cute, too. Uh-oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? You could say that, uh... But everything worked out. She's on our side now. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh. <laughs> and who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Uh... Um... Do I tell the truth? Do I tell the truth? Do I say no? Do I do I say yes? Uh, I want to see her happy. I want to see her smile. Yep. That's wonderful. You two absolutely mustn't miss the Subzeris Festival. <clears throat> all right. Awesome. By the way, Junior Zod, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. Look, it maybe. Spectacular. Thanks to your generous contribution. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll start worshipping the, the, um, maybe I am a follower now, you know? After seeing this pretty lady, maybe I am a, maybe I am a follower of Kusanali, you know? She seems to have some pretty, pretty good fans. Um, you know? Oh, no, I don't want to, no, stop, stop, stop. Stop! No! 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 Don't kill me like this! No! I didn't... I didn't lie to the pretty lady. I just... I just stretched the truth a tiny bit. It's fine. It's... It's fine. No! No, 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 no
No, I... But I want to help. I genuinely want to help. No, I... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh... It's fine. It's... It's... It'll... It'll be fine. It'll... It'll be... It'll, it'll, it'll be... It'll, oh... You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. <laughs> do you still have enough more? <laughs> Fucking god damn it. God damn it, Katie. Alright. Alright, thank you for your deeming the uwu. The fucking uwu voice sentence. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, uh, hi, hi. <clears throat> I lied to the pretty lady, and I'll do it again. <laughs> <clears throat> How's that for a nice ev evil, evil uwu voice? Fucking hell. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't believe I lied to the pretty lady, and now I'm getting slandered for it. Hmm. I made mistakes in my life. I made mistakes in my life. Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. This is important. Hold on. Hold on. This is important. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. This is important. This is... This is very important. Hold on. Those are actual horns. That's so awesome. Hold on. This is important, everybody? Oh no, I can't check it yet. Damn it, I have to complete this quest. Fuck. <laughs> I want to know what the other path was. I want to know what she would say. Oh. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll complete the quest and then we'll check. Wow! This place is amazing. Ooh. Not bad. Huh. Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago. We discovered yeah, I the think they're actual the horns. Had a huge chunk well, they might be just part of the off. hood. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. I hope they're not part of the hood. Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Or the headdress. It's not a hood. It's a headdress. I'm fucking stupid. I'm dummy. I'm Dumbo. Dumbo the elephant. <laughs> That's my elephant noise. My very half-assed elephant noise. Why didn't anyone come to handle it? Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. Yeah, it is a headdress. The academia looks down on performers like us. They probably she doesn't have horns, it's just a headdress. Fuck. Completely. Okay. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then they wouldn't be able to hold the Sub-Zeru's festival anymore. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree. And we also gave the stage a much needed makeover. The mm. stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. Oh. I'll do my best for the two of us. Milu, oh, what are you going to be doing at the cute. She'll be oh. dancing the dance of Subzerus, the most important performance at the Subzerus festival. Junior Zod, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay, then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. According All right, to cool. Legend, the Sabzerus festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. Oh. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Aww. Some of the gods got drunk. She's one doing your Zod as a standard NPC. She's interesting. Yeah. Singing. 
This is a shame. The flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, countless beautiful Parisaras began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those Ooh. brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. First step, hey, not doing your Zod. Yeah. Oh. Sad. It's sad. They could have had, like, their own unique kind of designs and stuff. Doing your Zod has kind of a unique outfit, at least. At least for the moment. But she has, like, a pretty, like, bog standard model, which is rough. <clears throat> well, sounds like it had, they had a great time. Of course they did. When <clears throat> people mention the gods, they always think of the Archon War. But Sumeru's gods also had happy times. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition. We got our own dance. custom art value for model. The I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. <gasps> Though we're just tiny okay. people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Aww. You, you of all people, will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> They symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. Mm. The greater lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Mm. Thinking about the goddess of flowers dance makes me That's wish sad. I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that... Uh... I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body sars on the stage. Mm. <sighs> so, traveler in Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus festival? Will you two be coming? All of Lesser Lord Kusinali's Big sad, yeah. will be there for her birthday. Big sad. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. And yeah, I'm totally interested. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! <clears throat> Are you sure it's not because you want another fun? Are you sure it's not because you want to watch Nilu dance? Listen, okay, I want to watch Nilu dance, okay? The generic NPC models are quite charming their own way. There, there's a little there's a little bit of charm to it. You know, it feels quaint, but knowing this game is not developed by a quaint uh developer, it, it is a little disappointing. <clears throat> So small, small indie development team. Small, small indie company. <laughs> why, why does it seem like you're just charming as a euphemism? Katie, nothing, not everything is a euphemism. <laughs> Though it is so easy to point out who the main characters are. Yeah, it really, honestly, it's really easy and it, it's kind of jarring sometimes. It is quite jarring. It's like you see a character design, you're like, "Yep, yep, that's a that's an important character. We're gonna get to play as that one." <laughs> oh god, niche indie game Genshin Impact. From my ace perspective, it seems like everything. You know what? That's fair. Yeah, it's 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 like you when you don't know, you can't tell the difference. <laughs> In DRPG about complicated, nuanced, emotional topics. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so Yeek. So Yeek, right? Yeek, a postmodern RPG? An indie RPG about complicated, nuanced, emotional topics? Hey, 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 you didn't say that it had to hand handle those well. You didn't say it had to handle those those emotional topics well. <laughs> or in a nuanced way, just that it had nuance. It, it, it was about complicated, nuanced emotional topics. You <laughs> 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 is a fucking travesty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. A Aloe's, uh, Aloe's sexual. It's, it's basically the opposite of, of asexual. 
Yeah. At least they gave, uh, they give effort to add details into, uh, Din uh, TR thing. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> oh, God. People should be handed a writing, li handed a writing license. <laughs> it should be possible to have them revoked. <laughs> This is these are the types of things that like you don't understand until you've read dialogue from the game Geek. <laughs> you don't understand. Y you can't truly understand until you've read the dialogue. It's like it's like no, no one should have writing licenses taken away from them. What do you mean? And then it's like it's like once you read some Geek dialogue, it's like, oh no, oh no, maybe maybe they were right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got to learn about these things. Learning is ch churning. No, fuck. God damn it. I. Learning is. Um. Yearning? No. I can't come up with a rhyme. F fuck it. Learning is good. There's your. There's your quote. There's your amazing rhyming quote. Learning is good. <laughs> Five minutes long, and this is 90% the same line repeated over and over. Oh my god. Oh, tunnel gosh, damn. Isn't Yeek just a whole, whole, like, in its entirety, a tonal clash? Just, just in its entirety. One of the most out there. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking real, honestly. Yeah, it's like, it's like one of those things where it's like, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, well, you know, you're asexual, and then I'm the most sexual. <laughs> Me over here, I'm just a lesbian. I'm just big lesbian. But I love that. I love it. it's like it's like asexual, most sexual, the like two ends of the spectrum. <clears throat> Is it satirical? I wish. I wish Yeek was a satire. I wish Yeek was a fucking satire. Oh my god. It is not. And you can feel it in your bones. Enough to make your system blow. <clears throat> Respect each other. Yeah, I mean that's what it's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Anyone can be friends if you know they have mutual respect, and I think that that is that is good. Mutual respect is pretty, pretty, pretty damn important, and I love mutually respecting people. Woo! Yeah. Welcome to the new age. <laughs> to the new age. Oh god, it is 100% earnest and the author is super pretentious about it and just thinks no one is cultured enough to get it. I love the newer releases. Um, I watched a friend start to play a newer release of it because <clears throat> now it actually has an abridged version. I don't mean like, I don't mean abridged as in like, a, a an abridged, like, as in like, an abridged series where it's like, a, a joke like memed on. I mean like, it actually has a setting that you can turn on that will like decrease the amount of bullshit in the dialogue like it, it will cut out some unnecessary parts of the dialogue and like apparently it cuts down the dialogue a lot like that is like a real thing in this in in newer releases of the game which is hilarious <clears throat> like it is really funny that that exists um I, I don't know. I don't know. It feels like an acknowledgement that it is... It's not even funny. Like, it stops being funny how bad the writing is if you play the, the like, the, like, unabridged version. <laughs> if you play the original cut. And it's almost like they, the, the people who are publishing the game fucking realize that. <laughs> Like it, it just it, it doesn't isn't even funny because of how bad it is after a point. They had to fucking abridge it. Oh god, it's a crime against literature. No, 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 Katie, 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 not a good crime. No, 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 no. We're talking like a a, a fucking menace to society. Psychological torture. That's that's accurate. A war crime. It's a fucking war crime. 
<laughs> it is a literature war crime. <laughs> Psychological warfare. <clears throat> <clears throat> so how about we all attend the sub Probably right. together? Yeah, sounds like a plan. I'd love to. I'd love to attend this festival, yeah. <clears throat> you search, but I kind of want to watch Psychologist Review and think about why they... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Psychologists analyze... Uh, analyze Yeek. Oh my god. What's up, Docs? I hope you're all doing okay and enjoying this game. I'm I'm enjoying this game a lot. Uh, I I was like playing massive like Archon Quest catch up, and I was like I was like super like. Uh, by the way, if you're thinking of psychoanalyzing the creator based on the game, do do be at least a little bit careful uh, and and watch a video about the Beginner's Guide by Innuendo Studios. That'll uh, tell you all about. Uh, analyzing the artist and then do it anyways because Yeek is a terrible game with a self-insert main, main character. <laughs> oh god. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I've been like binging Archon Quest because I was like, still at like the beginning of Inazuma for a while. So yeah, now I'm now I'm caught up finally. So I can and I want to I wanted to so that I could participate in the event. <laughs> it was this whole fucking ordeal my god anyways yeah sounds like a plan yeah let's go to the festival Don't you're Zod. let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far traveler and paimon if that doesn't sound interesting to you then feel free to explore the area everyone at the grand bazaar loves lesser lord kusanali and we're all looking <laughs> forward to the Sabzerius festival that's awesome i'm glad to hear there's at least others even if you know, it's not an amazingly huge crowd or anything. I myself just started this February. Uh, I just binged everything before college began. Yeah, I can't blame you, honestly. <clears throat> the game is also, like, not very friendly to people who are behind on the main story. So, it, like, it, it, it kind of, like, it's a pain. I didn't know it was this good and painful. Tepe, Tepe was so sad. Oh my god, Tepe was so fucking sad, dude. That was... God, when I got onto that fucking island and I saw that Tepe's hair was gray, I was like, wait, your hair wasn't always gray. You had black hair. Right? I was, I was like, am I, like, gaslighting myself? I was like, no, 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 you, you had a different color hair. Are you, and you're coughing? Are you okay? It's like, are you aging or something? What's happening? And, and it, I, I was fucking devastated. That, that was fucking, like... They fucking get you emotionally attached to this fucking character. They got me in- they got me invested. I was kind of like, oh, it's just this random NPC character who's just palling along with us. And then, like, and then he starts to improve, and then... <sighs> that was- that shit was- that shit was sad. That shit was really sad. That hurt. Hey, really, that was a low blow. That was a low blow, guys. Come on. Come on, man. You get your attached, gaslight you with the, is he okay or not? And the voice acting is just, yeah, f like, fuck. Oh, my God. It. God damn it. And what Skiramoosh said, God, what a fucking asshole. Ah, oh, these people wouldn't have mattered anyways in their lives. And hey, they got to experience their... Their, their dream, you know, they got to have their strength, even if it, even if it killed them. And it's just like, fuck you. Fuck you. You fucking asshole. I don't give a single fucking damn. Fuck you. Personal letter to Scaramouche. Fuck you. God, that shit was so fucking infuriating. <clears throat> God. God damn. Mortals are like bubbles. They don't matter and will die quickly. 
that's exactly yeah that's exactly why we have value like like honestly like and, and i mean you know i'm sure if we if we lived forever there'd still be value you know it's not like specifically i i'm not of the opinion that it's because we die that we're beautiful but like i think that it's still a beautiful aspect to it you know the fact that it's fleeting and that we still move on and that we still try to make something out of it and find meaning where there really isn't necessarily any meaning like that that shit is like beautiful like that's that's one of the really beautiful things about like human life um and you know like taking that away from somebody is tantamount to like fucking awful shit like fuck get these traumatized and all especially from being a puppet or whatever but sheesh man yeah right dude fucking chill like bruh but hey i mean he also noticed that the sky was fake so you know whatever i'm just gonna keep mentioning that i'm gonna keep mentioning that because there are still people who don't know that that genshin impact sky is not real and i'm going to refuse to elaborate <laughs> And tell you to look it up. Look up Unreconciled Stars and watch all those cutscenes. And you will... Oh. <laughs> you will be upset that you were not playing in 1.1. Like me. God damn it. <clears throat> in that case, we'll take a look around. Like, uh, I don't mean like how I was playing in 1.1. I mean, I'm upset too. Constant reminder that we have finite time makes us do things we want. Connect with people. Yeah. Legit. Legit. Yeah. Oh, let's walk around. Let's talk to people. <gasps> hey. Whoa. What's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an outlander? Did you know that the Sab Zero's festival so is like about to happen? There'll be loads of fun <laughs> things to do at the festival. But the best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, passes out Oh, sounds like a lot of fun. <clears throat> How was I playing? Okay, I mean, Katie, I was playing in 1.0, but I, I think I, I think I stopped, or at least like if I was playing in 1.1, I wasn't like pushing it, pushing like the gameplay hard enough, and I didn't understand the limited time events and stuff, and I, I squandered it. I squandered my chance, basically. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I missed out on the entirety of Unreconciled Stars. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm- I am a long time player, but I took like a big break. Like I took a big break between like 1.1 and like 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 or something. I didn't start playing this game again until like September or like August of last year. Yeah, I guess it's been, like, a year now of me, like, consistently playing it again. Because, <clears throat> yeah, I was playing from, like, 1.0 to 1.2, around there. That was, like, around when I was playing it. <clears throat> and I was really, like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Haven't really started again. Yeah, real, real. <clears throat> Start playing in 2.3 for reference. Yeah. God dang. Genshin. Genshin Impact. God damn. I missed out on a lot by being gone all that time. I had a friend I had a friend who really loved who was like really obsessed with this game all throughout. <clears throat> I don't know if she's still here. Wow, but it's Avery. It's it's Ash Inspector. Uh a oh Ash is a Ash Spectre. I thought it was Ash Inspector. Uh, well, she's literally on the bits the bits leaderboards. <laughs> um but yeah, yeah, like, she's been into this game, or they, fuck, dicks, fucking fuck my life, bruh, I haven't done that in a long time. I feel like a goddamn fucking dumbass. They, they, god, it's been like a fucking year since I did that, what the fuck? How did I, okay, what, they, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, uh, they, um, they're awesome. They, they were basically keeping me updated, and they were, like, gushing to me about all the new characters. Because they knew 
they were trying to like show me like all the hot girls to get me back in because I'm a huge massive lesbian <laughs> and it almost worked several times until one moment they were like hey Hu Tao is getting a rerun remember that cute ghost girl that cute like funeral director girl you know that I showed you She's getting a rerun, you should start playing the game again. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll start playing the game again. And I haven't stopped since. <laughs> I haven't stopped since, so, uh, oops. Oopsies. Oopsies. <clears throat> curious, uh, and searched up the meaning of Tepe's name. Uh, in Japanese it has the characters for soldier and withdrawal. I guess he really did withdraw. Damn, that's sad. God damn it. God damn it, Japan and your thematic names. Fucking Christ. Yeah, oh, my friend, my friend was tempting me with waifus real hard. I got tempted real hard with Eula. Like, they were, they were like, they were like, oh my god. Eula? Eula is fucking hot and you will love Eula. And they showed me the video of Eula dancing. And I was like fucking mesmerized and I was like holy shit oh my god oh my god what did you do to me what did you fucking do to me the best way to get princess like was to do something is with girls it is the most effective way to persuade me is to use girls <laughs> you like yes holy sh oh geez yeah the desire to ship with your seriously amber amber and eula amber and eula best best I love them I love them so much oh my god Oh my fucking god, they're so... Oh, I love them. I love them so much. Fuck. God. God. I love, I love, um... <laughs> I'm girl, play Splatoon with me. I'll work on it. Eventually I will play Splatoon. I'll play Splatoon, sweetie. Okay? I just need some time. <laughs> We just met them, but... <clears throat> but... Nilu X Dia is a fun, cute thought. Nilu, Dia, and, um... What? Why did I... Why did... How did I forget her name? The... The rich lady who... Dun... Dun... Dunyarzad! 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 Yes, I forgot her name. They made her name too long. Polyamory, polyamory, Nilu, Dia, Dunyarzad. That's that's great. That just seems great. That's perfect. Oh, oh, that that yeah. That that's perfect. Dunyarzad is like, is like, oh, how do I pick between the the girl that like totally like. Uh, is, a, is the one person who also believes in the god that I love and this hot mercenary lady who likes to carry me. <clears throat> Each have two hands, Polly indeed. Yes, let's go. Yes. They should all, they just all need to kiss. They just all need to kiss. Clearly. <clears throat> Oh wait, I wanted to finish this quest tonight. <laughs> I wanted to finish this quest tonight. That's right. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Oh wait, I need. To, I wanted to finish this quest tonight. Dunyarzad's uh, name can translate to "born of God." Jesus Christ. Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. We're expecting people from all over to come by this year and buy things during the festivities. Not the voice I expected, but you know, you seem pretty chill. What's up? Don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. Some festival snacks are only offered here in the Grand Bazaar. Hmm. And when it comes to musicians, dancers, or singers, the Grand Bazaar's got the best of the best. Sure, those folks at the academia Seeing might as how Kusanali like helped her. Yeah, it does fit. It does fit her. Song and dance. True, what is a festival without song and dance? <clears throat> Let's talk to Sh Shrimati. Ah, 
dancing <laughs> we at the Zeru's festival. <laughs> you know, I also danced when I was younger. As a child, I even asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the Lesser Lord when it was originally done to honor the Greater Lord. My grandmother said the Greater Lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And Lesser Lord Kusanali is too. If the goddess of flowers ever knew Lesser Lord Kusanali, mm. then she would certainly have wished to be her friend and hold celebrations for her too. That's sweet. The That's festival yeah. Has been losing its appeal <sighs> over the years. Hmm. That is until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year and brought the festival back to life. I heard she forked out a lot of mora to make it all happen. Wow. Didn't you thought to really put in, like, put in the big investment here, huh? What about you, Dia? Oh, revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. Hell yeah. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the academia doesn't particularly approve of. <laughs> and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin and... Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's uh, what I've heard at least. Oh, do you have a girly side? Dia! Dia! Oh, Gap Moe! Gap Moe! Cute! Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Cute. Get moe, get moe. Lesser Lord Kusanali's name is fun though. In Chinese, it's literally Little Lucky Grass King. <laughs> That's really funny and very cute. Uh, a bit envious of not being affected by romantic emotions. Oh yeah, uh, no, yeah. <clears throat> Kitty isn't a romantic, just asexual. <clears throat> And they've got a. <laughs> she's got a. She's got a partner who teases her real hard. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, did you use that? Milu, your outfit looks amazing. <laughs> There's also something different about you from when we first met up. Hmm. Greater Lord Rukadavata in Chinese is Great Benevolent Tree King. Huh. It's a, it's a little lucky grass king. And Great Benevolent Tree King. Very interesting. Very interesting dynamic. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? So wow. <laughs> Did you sew all that yourself? Uh-huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. Did you know that Mr. Zubir not only can make costumes, but props too? <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? Of course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head, so this crown was made to reflect that. Junior Zod, you look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the goddess of flowers herself. I'm mad. I'm mad we don't get to see Junior Zod put it on. That's really frustrating. <laughs> Curse you, dialogue only. How dare you. Name Nilu is a girl's name, meaning water lily, water lily or lotus. Uh, it's life a lovable Persian name is typically reserved as a nickname for Nilufar. Huh, cool. Oh, this is another, another reason to assist her Polly. <laughs> Wait, what? Catherine? Since when does Catherine... Since when does Catherine do leisure activities? We have never seen Catherine out from behind the desk 
What the fuck? This is so weird. There's a... Catherine. Wow. What a straight thing to say about your friend. <laughs> what close friends they are. No, no, no. They're, that's why they're not just friends. They're roommates. <laughs> Grand Hook, Catherine. Catherine character development time, baby. Dude, this, this, honestly, I didn't expect this robot, this lovely, lovely robot to get this kind of development. I love it. I love it. Catherine's color scheme really works in Sumeru. It really does. It really does. Huh. Come to think of it, Paimon's only ever seen her behind <laughs> the counter at the Adventurers Guild. This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break. It's beautiful. Hey, Catherine. Huh? Oh, hey. It's the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, what's shaken? What? She's so casual. She's so casual. She said, what's shaken? What? She said, what's shaken? What the fuck? Ah. Uh, Sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. <laughs> we're waiting for her to say Ad Astra Abyssos. Yeah, my god. Sure. <laughs> Standing behind the counter at the Adventurer's Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. But saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. All right, Fontaine has movies. That's cool. Oh, I guess they do have cameras. But they have video cameras, too, that means. Yo. <clears throat> Venturer's Guild originated and is based in Stajnaya. I know. I'm afraid the Fatui is colluding with them a bit, really spying on... Yeah, I really, I really do worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I try not to think about it for now, because... I can't wait for the twist. I can't wait for for them to really like I feel like they're gonna really hammer it in. You know, there's gonna be a moment where it's like where it's like it's like, hey, you've been expecting this. <laughs> she describes being behind the counter as needing less functions. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's just wait to get her socks blown off. Yeah, you know. It'll if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. <laughs> but take you two for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about her brother. You know, there was that quest in Inazuma that uh, was a movie director making movies. Oh shit! Yeah, I guess I, mean, I guess that's true. Uh, the mission names sound cool. They're lazy. <laughs> Inazuma, lightning in Japanese. Sajnaya just means snowy in Russian. <laughs> Fontaine is just French for fountain. <laughs> oh, it's, it's great. It's great. <laughs> yes, you should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Mondstadt means like something like a town. I forget what it means. I don't remember what it means. I think it, isn't it just like Freedom Town or something? <laughs> huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh, anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? Are you also a fan of the Sub Zero's festival? Particularly, I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Hmm. Look at her breathing in the atmosphere. It looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. Oh. Oh, is it Moon City? Huh. Interesting. That is very interesting. Why is it Moon City? It, oh wait, is it like City of the Wind? I thought it was would be something like that, but it's in German, as what I know. But I don't know. 
Maybe it is Moon City. I'll have to look it up. Liwa. Liwa literally means glazed moon. Hmm. -hmm. That's very interesting. Monstat would be Moon City. Oh, okay. Huh. Guess you're right then. Hell yeah. Four years of German speaking. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. Thanks for letting me know, Katie. Maybe misremembering. I'll look it up again. But you're probably right. I believe you. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro, after all. Wait, in the manga they just call it Mond? Hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. Yeah, sure is. Yeah. You must cringe a bit whenever fish will speak. <laughs> it's okay, she... Uh, fish will only has, like two, like, two main events. <laughs> Fish only has two main events, and, uh, the, the, neither of them are permanent fixtures in the game. That's really tragic. That's so sad. Uh, Ordo Favonius. What the fuck is this manga? Oh my god. So many differences. <laughs> hey, Traveler. Hi, Mon. I've got something to tell ya. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. Ooh. Are you serious? We'd love that! It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. What about Dunyarzad? Uh, my lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Milu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Okay. Like a plan. Real, real. Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar and wait for Gia. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Whoa, that's a steep fucking slope. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Gia. I would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad. It's called being a professional. <laughs> I'm a bodyguard, and I'll go through whoever's paying. <laughs> yep, that's a blush if I've ever seen one. <laughs> uh, listen, you two. <laughs> I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit chat and head into the citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the lesser lord. Okay. <laughs> I'd be willing to bet she'd get dropped. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Chief. I'd love to see Dia be the bottom. That would be oh, so, hey, yeah. so, like, poetic. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Sure do. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozban for more info. Wait That's a minute. Hmm. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumeru City to begin bolstering its defenses. It's cute to see what it's saying. Oh, yeah. Since you've already met.
mention the theft, I suppose. Uh, might as well tell them what we know. Appreciate okay. it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something. And there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. Oh? Uh, I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Hmm. Okay. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. Damn. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch uh. the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. <clears throat> All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. You two have hmm. heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. Did hear the name the once. Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back, meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. I really, I'm really concerned about Hydrovision bearers being able to blood bend, blood bend, blood, blood bend, blood bend. Oh God, Nilu having no water left to use in the desert and just. Oh God! Oh no! Don't don't make me think of that. No, the poor, the poor girl. I she's too pure. She's too pure to do such a horrifying thing. No, please, please no. Blonde bend. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Apparently, what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha knowledge, and even the God. Katie, stop! Katie, Katie, stop! <laughs> Katie, Katie, what do you mean? That's what she would top Dia. Oh no, no. <laughs> well, that's super fucked up. God damn it! Oh no. Wait, she'd be blending the blunt. Right. Right, yeah, she would be bending the blonde. Oh, that's right, yeah, right, right, right. That's what you were getting at, yeah. Not not the blood bending, no, no. No, no of course not. Of course not. That's... <laughs> Fucking Christ. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> if you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormos and ask around yourself. <laughs> you want my advice? Try introducing yourselves as students of the academia once you're there. <laughs> Imagine fucking... Oh, God. Fucking water... Fu fucking, fucking blood-bending sex scene. That sounds horrifying. What the fuck? I mean, I guess that's just Avatar The Last Airbender BDSM. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, God. Ooh, yoy. I didn't need this in my brain. What? You want to see Nilo, Nilo go <laughs> You want to see that? Oh my god. Why should we do that? Are you serious, Chief? All the academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. Help me out. I've got plenty of work uh, okay. to do here for the Homayani family. And take it from me. I mean, if you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you'd best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Aramites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. Uh oh. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like, Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. Oh, cool. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Ridiculous. Not hmm. everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandoned their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, hmm. that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Dia. And you too, Asan. Gotta appreciate it. Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head 
Weavers better give us a dark skin Geo Geovision bear. Oh my god. That'd be the awesome. Zod is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzeru's festival. So, be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Yep, we won't forget. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzeru's festival. Awesome. Look forward to it. All right. Now, will I continue act 1? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I kind of am just so happy. Oh, I'm just so happy to have access to this now. All right, we're doing un unappreciated carving. We're doing this. We're doing it. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Wait. Oh, so we're supposed to go to Port Ormos for that, anyways. Well, I guess we'll set out for Port Ormos. We'll do that. Hi, yay, yay. Grass festival. We weed. Oh no, guys, it's the weed festival. Oh shit. Sub zero just means day of grass. Weed. It's the grass. Here we celebrate grass. Welcome to, welcome to Sumeru, where we celebrate grass. <laughs> We celebrate grass. Omega, count how many gr count how many blades of grass there are. <laughs> Omega, count how many blades of grass there are. True, the, the fucking high omega one where it's like, I do not have lungs, so I cannot smoke weed, but I will insert it directly into my into my lungs. Or I will insert it directly into my brain. Good luck in your pulls. Thanks! Ah! Oh shit, right, I should do my pulls. I guess now that I'm I'm kinda where I am and where I wanna be in the quest. I mean, I'll do my pulls now. I'll do my pulls now. No, or fuck it. Fuck it. It's here. It's here. I can do my I can do my polls. Fuck it. We'll, we'll do it. Let's do it. Fucking seventy-seven polls. I have like thirty-four pity or something. So let's see if I hit the fifty-fifty. Let's see if I hit the fifty. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I save these. I've been saving. Oh my god. I've been saving. Uh, because I want coco me. I haven't gotten- I, I got Raiden instead of Kokomi on their rerun banners, and, um, I've regretted it ever since- I mean, uh, well, okay. Granted, I've been happy to have Raiden, because she's meta as fuck and really, really powerful. But- But just look at Kokomi! She is so fucking pretty, I just- oh my god. And doing the Inazuma story just, like, reaffirmed that for me. Ganyu's great, but Kokomi- Welcome here! Alright, let's go. Let's go! Are you fucking with me? Are you fucking with me? Are you, you're fucking with me. I... <laughs> please, 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 please. Gotcha, gods, please? Please? Oh my god. Kokomi is home. Cool. And I- <gasps> And I got Dory! Yay! <laughs> That's it, I used all my year's luck. That's it, I'm out of luck now. That's it, I used it. Now speedrun her- oh god. Oh god, no, I used all of my- I used all of my fucking, uh... Um... 
I used all of my stuff on uh, pulling... What was it? Or no, not pull... Well, yeah, I used all my stuff on artifact domains today. I don't have anything. I can't do that today. I can't do that right now. <laughs> oh my god. Alternatively, get more cocoa meat. Mm, but next patch is Nilo. Nilu. Next patch is Nilu. Mm, I gotta save for. I gotta. I gotta get. I gotta try to get Nilu too. I. Oh. You could theoretically roll for her weapon. Mm. Fuck. I could theoretically roll. Hold. Well, let me. Let me at least. Let me at least take a look. Okay. It depends on whether or not I already have a good weapon for her, but... Oh, fuck. Healing bonus rage by 10%. Uh, if you want Nilo, then you should probably skip. Yeah. No attack damage is increased by 1% of uh, the max HP of the character equipping this weapon. Uh, for 12 seconds, uh, I'm going to burst attacks. Oh, there's a hit. Mm. Fucking shit. <clears throat> Woman can be powerful. Just imagine how much reaction she could proc at. Ganyu, I know Ganyu is fucked up. Like, Ganyu is super fucked up. Um, she's like the, the cryo, the cryo character that everybody fucking clamors for. Um, I, I don't have her yet. But I, oh, I want Nilu. I want Nilu so bad. Do one more if you get her, you have to go all in. So you're saying that if I get another Kokomi, if I do a temple and I get a Kokomi on this temple, then I have to go all in. That's what, that's what you're saying? <clears throat> that's what you're saying, Katie. If I get, if I get Kokomi on this temple, then I have to go all in. Uh, that's so unlikely that you're in. You're you're on. You're on, motherfucker. There's no way. There's no fucking way. Yeah, see? See, there's no way. Yeah. I didn't even get a character from that. Yeah, nope, suck. Well, I did get I did get another Dory. So you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I will take that. That's yeah, I'm happy about that. Sure. Yeah, I'll happily take that. Imagine. Yeah, no. If I if I got another one, that would be fucking awesome. Um Getting another Dory is pretty hype. Uh after sales service rounds created by the troubleshooter shots. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, pretty nice, pretty nice. <clears throat> Honestly, if I was really, if I really wanted to, I would like try and get see like like more constellations for Dory or something. But nah, think I'm think I'm set, think I'm good. Um, I really wanted to get Kale. I wanted to get like some fucking like constellations on Kale. But I. I'm just gonna take the free Kale and call it a day. Because I call it a Kale day. Because I didn't wanna accidentally pull Tainari or Zhongli. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'll take my free Kale and just and just fuck off. Um Yeah, I, I I'm glad I didn't pull on Tainari or Zhongli, because I would have wasted that crazy luck on on a five star that I didn't want. So Holy shit. Eula seems evil, but she cares so much for, for her nation. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, I, I love Eula for that. Cryo's ideal is love. Aw. Ganyu. Wait, why the fuck won't it let me scroll the fucking chat? What the fuck? Uh, Ganyu shows love. The ceaseless devotion to her job. Yeah, Ayaka. Uh, loving her people. Yes. Yes. I created and Eula. Eula does have a lot of love. Yeah. I honestly, I Eula, I love that her like she's it's kind of like a performance that she's keeping up because she's like 
she can't like lower her guard around people and she can't get personal and stuff because people don't accept her. I find that so interesting. I love her character. <clears throat> Coco me! And she reads the little light novel. And then we got Dory. Oh. So, oh, this is great. This is great. I'm very happy about this. I'm very, very happy. Very happy. Chong Yoon loves popsicles. Oh, yeah, that's what Chong Yoon loves. <laughs> Chong Yoon's love is popsicles. <clears throat> Now that's true love. I gotta tell you, that is... <laughs> a family can be a boy and his popsicle. That's a, f that's a whole family right there. <clears throat> oh wait, Chong Yoon... Chong Yoon loves, uh... Chong Yoon loves Jing Chu, obviously. Him and Jing Chu are obviously, like... Like... Running away in the middle of the night. And are like, yo, yo, hey, hey... Hey, it's okay, bestie. It's okay. Just give me a bro hug. Give me a give me a little bro kiss on the cheek. Yeah, we'll just have we'll just have a little bro kiss on the cheek. You know, like bros. <laughs> that's 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 Jing Chu and and, and Chong Yun. Absolutely. <clears throat> Electro's eternity. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I love Fischl. Fischl's like Fischl's whole thing is like. Her eternity is that she wants to stick to her, like, to her whole, like, like, fictional ideal world. And I love that about her. I love, um, <clears throat> I, I love it. She's got her own, like, her own story. She's got her own stuff going on. And I love, I love it. I love that about Fischl. Eternity and dreams, and those dreams fuel her to do good. Yeah. She honestly gets so much out of, like, out of, like, sticking to her dreams and, and just kind of, like, living out of, her, living out her fantasies, and I love that. Kaya's love is what he does, uh, oh, that he does, in fact, care for his brother. Yeah, I guess. I guess I could do it. Hmm. <clears throat> of course, you know, it could also have to do with, oh, yeah, because he got it in a fight with his brother. That was when he got his, um, he got his, delu he, I mean, his, his vision, not his delusion. He got his vision in a fight with his brother. So it probably is because he cares. <clears throat> D. Luke would, D. Luke would like to see him die, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Which love will he choose? Of Monsat or of Conria? Yeah, that is a very good question. Question we all want to know the answer to, I'm sure. Heck. Chi Chi, not fully sure. Uh, she just plays Love by a Can you give the medicine? Maybe. Uh, you know, I really do get the feeling that, um. I do really get the feeling that Chi Chi, um. Oh yeah, love for life. It, there does feel like there's like a kind of passion hidden behind her inability to be passionate, and I really enjoy that. Um, Katie, no, Katie, stop. That's not an element. Katie, Katie, why? Katie, no, no, why? Uh, Animo is freedom, because we know Animo is freedom. Um. The sucrose, I don't really know what her deal is to do with freedom. Yeah, I really don't know about that. Venti's freedom is a farce. You're probably right, yeah. You're probably not wrong. Venti's freedom is kind of farcical. <clears throat> Jean fights to secure free people's freedoms. Sayu wants the freedom to sleep. <laughs> That's her, that's her biggest aspiration, is the freedom to sleep. <laughs> uh, Kazuha wanted 
freedom from uh freedom from oppression and the freedom to follow his own his own destiny because of his family he's not free to talk about celestia he's stuck in the past and even took on the form of his friend out of sadness he can't cope with sadness and that's why he's always drunk yeah yeah that's true that's true i think he very much values people who who do live totally free you know um maybe because he can't you know maybe that's why you know that's why um uh a lot of the geo all of the geo ones do represent contracts i mean noelle is all about fulfilling her duties um you know uh as much as she wishes she had an animo uh isn't animo just people who lost someone special uh Oh, uh, maybe. May maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure. Venti's freedom is synonymous with absence. Yeah, true, true. Jean hasn't really- I mean, I guess Jean, like, kind of- She didn't lose something, but she did have, like- She did lose, like, growing up with her sister. Like, she lost that, like, opportunity, I guess. That could be it. And she kind of like, and now she's kind of like, has to take on this, you know, big responsibility. <clears throat> Maybe it's something like that. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's something like that. Hmm. I do think it's very interesting to think about that sort of stuff. Jean's whole thing is that she's constantly burdened by work. Uh, she's the least free person in Mondstadt. I guess that makes sense, yeah. And she kind of self-inflicts it on herself. There are moments when, like, she could take a break and she chooses not to because she believes she, she can't take a break. She's, like, trying to ensure everyone else's freedom at the cost of her own. Direct pillow to Vanessa, whose uh, main symbol other than the tree is a shackle. Damn. Wow. A's attorney is synonymous with delusion. She fooled herself with stagnation. Eternity became a coping mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. Guess it can't be too surprising that she gave a, a vision to Fischl. <laughs> or that she permitted delusions be manufactured within her borders. Fucking Christ. Because she knew. She fucking knew. She makes it clear at the end that she knew everything that was going on and chose to not do anything. Like, that's fucking crazy, eh? Like, goddamn. You're, you're, you're deluded. And you're allowing delusions. To just be like manufactured in your nation. Good job, good job. How how very how very thematic. <laughs> how fucking thematic. Pyro is war. Ah, Pyro Bennett wars with his luck and fights on despite it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Pyro is war. I'm a, uh, if that's the case, I'm kind of interested in uh kind of interested in seeing like uh the pyro nation if it ends up being truly like a nation of war all right well i guess yeah i guess let's go to port ormos might as well Kuta not too sure war for balance she and her family keep the balance of life and death. Yeah. I don't know. That one's, that one's a bit tricky. Easy to make literal interpretations based on the nation titles. Probably more accurate to say conflict. Yeah, conflict makes sense. I, 
because I, I think Snezhnaya, I think like the Zorita might be, maybe it's a love for her people or something. I'm curious as to what, because the Archon's whole thing is that, you know, she doesn't, she definitely seems to like be taking like a, an authoritarian kind of thing, but we don't fully understand. Crowns is, okay, so it was love and it might have changed. Hmm, interesting. Who knows? Who knows for sure? I don't. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. At least the Cryo Archon's ideal might have changed. Yeah, maybe something. Uh -huh. Something or other. Wait, what? Down with Celestia, agreed. I, I, I do agree. A lot of the methods... Honestly, a lot of the methods that these groups come up with seem really, like, real shit. Like, my god. A lot of them have to do with terrorizing civilians, and it's like... Bruh. I don't think you have to terrorize civilians to, to say down with Celestia. You know? Can't we just... Can't we just agree? Wait, what the fuck? There, there, there's some crocs? There's some crocs over here? Too much love, she has no love, or perhaps love has become hate. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey, it's some crocs. Come <clears throat> Damn, those are some tough crocs. Uh, hey buddy. Wait. Where'd you go? Don't run away from me! What are you thinking? What the fuck? How dare you? How dare you run away from me? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Where on... Where into that? Can I get a Dendrogranum? Oh, I'm fucking blind. Cool. Oh, I'm not a friend of the Junimos, so they won't talk to me? God damn it. Fucking Korak ass motherfuckers. Just be my friends. Eh? Eh? Nani? Nani? Nani, Stendayo? I apologize for being a weeb. Just kidding, I don't apologize for being a weeb. <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. <laughs> I'm a friend of the Junimos. <laughs> oh! It was a trap! It was a trap orchestrated by by big ruin guard mechanism. By big mechanical array. Arnora's, Junimo's, Korok's, Harvest Sprite. Still the same, really. You know what? Yeah. You're right. You're right. That's why I don't question it. Cabbages. It's a jellyfish Squidward. I feel like we're straying away from the point here, but... But it still sounds accurate. <laughs> ah, those Aranaras. Are there any other Aranaras that I should know about? Oh shit, wait, I just realized that I'm right underneath the... I saw this thing yesterday and I fucking freaked the fuck out because I'd seen pictures of it but I hadn't like I don't think I still don't think I had like comprehended like the actual scale you know like seeing pre-release images was one thing 
but like actually like perceiving how big this thing is is like horrifying yeah, I feel like it's gonna wake up too. It's horrifying. I don't want it to wake up, but I also kind of do. Like that, like morbid curiosity part of me really wants it to wake up and just, and just like fuck us up, you know? <clears throat> like, legit. I want to have a fucking Shadow of the Colossus boss fight against this fucking thing. <clears throat> and then it permanently morphs the terrain because it's now gone. That'd be fucking awesome. That'd be so cool. Ooh, music. You wanna AOT the motherfucker? Yeah! Fucking- fucking do it. Fucking come at me. I want that so bad. Sounds fucking awesome. Huh. What? Hello. Nice of you to show yourself. Um. I'm kind of busy here. Can whopper flower. Blasted thing. Huh. Are you kidding? What is this? What is the whopper flower express? Yoimiya is the most fun. The War of Joy. That does sound very much like Yoimiya, I'm gonna be honest. You're, you're pretty accurate there. <clears throat> she just wants to fight for fun. She wants to fight, not like, not like because it's fun, but like, so that people can experience fun. That's what she's going for. War of Joy. Oh yeah, right, because she just likes- she likes explosions because they're fun. Like, so does Klee. Klee likes explosions because they're fun. <laughs> should we- should we really reward people who like explosions for fun? The Pyro Archon says yes. The Pyro Archon says that is exactly why I'm here. <laughs> Fireworks will scare away the monster for the children. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay, well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to get too deep into. But it's so easy. It's so easy to go off the beaten path. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. I wonder if Alice has a vision. Yeah, I wonder, actually. She has star magic and can access other realities. Damn. Maybe Alice is just magic. You know, maybe she doesn't have a vision. Maybe she doesn't need one. <clears throat> Imagine if Alice had, doesn't have a vision. And she's just awesome. See, this is where I, like, normally I would get Venti out. What if she has a- imagine if she has a portal gun. God damn it. Yeah, and she knows GLaDOS. She- she's best friends with GLaDOS. 
Alice could be Conry, and oh, true. She could be. She might be. She is five. Oh my god, she is 500 years old. That is true. And what's weird is that, like, we, we see elves and we don't really get much context for, like, why elves exist in Genshin Impact. Like, we don't have, like... And there aren't very many of them. It's just, like, where did the elves come from? Is it basically just, like, Klee and Alice? Are there any other elves? Oh, I guess Kusanali, but, like, she's an Archon, so she doesn't count. Because Kusanali is the only one uh, who has, like, those, like, sparky ear spiky ears. Or I guess it's Naida. You know. Quote-unquote, we don't know for sure that she's the Dendro Archon, quote-unquote. But uh, we definitely do. She's definitely... Naida is definitely Kusanali. 100%. No question. I don't know why I'm climbing this. I just can't help myself. I just can't help myself. It's so cool. I mean, I also wanted to get that, uh, get that Dendroculus, but now I'm just climbing. It's so big. Like, what the fuck? The war for innocence. She doesn't actively fight for innocence, but it's part of her, uh, she loves for it. And gives joy to others and the people she loves. And also loves to blow things up. We love a good pyromaniac. What the fuck are you? I still don't know what these are. Oh right, right. It's a it's a stamina like bulb. It gives you a little bit of stamina back. I remember this. Yeah, this is this these things are interesting. They they added a little little little. Oh, it gives you a little bit of stamina. So cute. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hello. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. <laughs> Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind. That although fun and learning are the primary goals of all Enrichment Center activities, <laughs> serious injury may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please... <laughs> Hello, and again, welcome. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this a hit the right hit them in the right order puzzle? What? Oh no. <clears throat> Imagine if GLaDOS's voice actor voiced the Tsaritsa. Imagine. Like, just imagine right now. Well, I know which one's first. Wait. Wait, it was only two? <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. Wait, I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. Nailed it. Nailed it, I'm awesome, apparently. Apparently, I'm really cool. And got, got that. Immediately. Cool. We take those. Uh, you really want to trial and error even one more? <laughs> yes! 
I was that's what I was expecting to do and I was totally ready to do it. <laughs> I was totally ready to do it. What are you talking about? Oh, you gotta go? Oh, class in 20 minutes? Oh, shit. Wish you the best of luck in your class. And I hope to see you uh, another time. Thank you for stopping by. Always great to see people. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I've apparently been following Akos for a long time. I'm trying to remember. I could have sworn, like, I had seen your name before, and you didn't, like... Like... It didn't say first time chatter, so I was like, Oh, hey, I guess you've been here before, and I forgot, I guess. Because I'm dummy. <laughs> it was very nice to meet you, though, yeah. Maybe you followed and didn't say anything, or maybe it was so long ago. <laughs> Thing is, my memory's pretty great. I just... I just forgot. So God with no love left for her people, nor did they have any left for her. Her followers only hope to be on her side when the day of her rebellion uh, against the Divine comes at last. Holy shit. So the Soritsa must have at once been, like, a loving god. And then it kind of just, like, the Soritsa doesn't have that anymore. Huh. <clears throat> but yes, I don't know. I mean, my memory is actually, like, pretty good, and it's, like, infuriating when I can't remember something, because, like... Because then everybody's surprised. Everybody's like, oh my god, even you don't remember. And it's like, it's like, yeah. Yeah, shit, that's embarrassing. <clears throat> Look at everyone's lives and polls. Thank you! Thank you very much. I wish you the bestest. And I hope you have a good time. <clears throat> I hope to see you again, by the way. This was super fun. But do, but do, uh, get ready for your class. Uh, don't, don't let me, uh, keep you here by being all excited and happy. <laughs> the Carolyn part of blouse. Honestly, yeah, if, if Carolyn's voice actress um was the voice actor for Snezhnaya uh for like the uh the Sarita, that'd be great. That'd be so cool. What's up here? Ah! The heck is that? I'm queen of the castle. I'm queen of the castle. Sure I am. Just watch. I'll make myself welcome if you want. <laughs> Excited and happy? It sounds like Mute Splatoon. <laughs> Real. <laughs> oh shit, I see it. I think I see it. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Go! Ha! What trinkets are veiled within this desolate plain? But I can't get back up there. Oh wait! Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Sling star to the rescue! It's Mario Galaxy now. <laughs> have I ever mentioned how much I like Splatoon? I don't think you have. No. Tell us in, ex in excruciating detail, Katie. <laughs> Tell us in excruciating detail, Tails. 
Well, it was a whole dream. Bye! <laughs> you love Splatoon? It's fun? Whoa. Holy shit. That's crazy. Anything else? Like, like, like. Like, like, like. Like, 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 like. You only get to be in- wait, 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 They had Spider-Man reference levels? What the fuck? You only get to be in history once, that's it. No, I can't have only existed in 1907. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah, uh, when you exist only in 1907. What a classic experience. I'm sure we're all used to it. <laughs> that's what we've all been experiencing, you know? <clears throat> Truly, it's the people's the people's plight is having only existed in the year of 1907. Wait, this wasn't what I wanted. Yeah, Zipcast is pretty much Spider-Man. I don't know why I started reading it. Oh yeah, because I saw the oh whoa so heroic, and they're like oh whoa so heroic. Oh whoa. A wall? What the fuck is this? The fuck are you? This is probably a, uh... Probably for later. This is probably when I get that musical instrument thing. Probably not for now. I need the Ocarina of Time to use this. I figured. I figured I did. Classic. Classic Zelda games. I need the ocarina in order to actually activate that. Yeah. Kalpalata Lotus. Cool. Wait, that's what I need for... Her, right? Kalpalata Lotus. Alright, fun. That's so sad. Sorry, play Saria, play Megalovania. Please never ask Saria to play Megalovania. Don't... Don't make the poor girl... She's so pure. Don't make her do that. What did she do to deserve this? Wait. Oh, there's an order! I can see the fucking thing moving through the air. It's gonna be like... Eh -eh. Yeah. Eh -eh. <laughs> a common chest? I solve your riddle and I get a common chest? I guess the riddle was already solved for me. Dude, I... Let me explore the whole coast, please. Hoyo? Hoyo. Hoyo? Hoyo. Listen to me. Listen to me? Listen. No, li listen. Listen to me, okay? I'm gonna open the map, alright? See, so see this, right? We have this little... This little bit of coastline. This little bit of coastline here, right? Right, right, right. We got this coastline here, right? Connect it. Fix it. Fix this. Fix this right now. 
fix I want I want to be able to walk along the beaches of fucking Tevat all the way from fucking Sumeru all the way to fucking Mondstadt. Fix this. Thank you. I actually appreciate the hard work that you've done to make to realize this new nation. I appreciate it a lot. And I never want to take it for granted, but please. Please fix that. And just look, there's like a whole fucking... Like, fuck, dude. Sumeru Part 2 is gonna kill my storage so hard. Isn't it going to do that to all of us? It's so relatable. Though I guess I have a lot of storage, so I'll I'll be fine, but you know, it will take up the same amount of space on my storage. Still be concerning. What the fuck is this? Is this a tile puzzle? Eh? What? What did I do? Oh, there's... <gasps> Wait, these are the flowers! Wait, and they're purple! These are the flowers that, like, when you, the god stepped on the flag of the flowers! The god of the flower, the flower, the flower, the flower, the flower, the god of the flower, the god of the flower, the... The guy with the flowers stepped in the places, and then the flowers appeared where they stepped, and th th there's the, there's the, here's the flowers, and they, I stepped in the places, and then the flowers appeared. Pretty cool, pretty based. Anyways. You can put that in one of the planters. No, I don't think it, I don't think it gave me an item. I didn't get a flower. It just um. Did I? Did I get an item? I don't think I did. I don't think I got like a flower item for that. I think the harvest just like populated the whole area with it. Did it? I'll have to check. It's probably a key item. Okay, yeah, I, I will check. Once I let me just kill these guys. You silly! Let me take a look. It's in a book. Uh, no, neither of these. Though I will learn these. And these. You got a uh, Vasmirti, I think it was called. Vasmirti. Unsealed parchment. Va Vasmurti. An, an item you tra you obtained after traversing the nursery. I have no idea what the fuck- they Oh, it is like the flower nursery. I guess. Huh. Maybe this was like a quest item that like, I was supposed to get later? Maybe I just solved this puzzle before I actually like reached this puzzle. Or something. Oh, it was probably for this guy. It was probably a puzzle for this guy, but since I'm not friends with them yet, you know, I I can't like do quests for them, or like I can't accept quests from them yet. It's probably a quest from that guy. <clears throat> that would make sense at least. Nurseries in the wilds. 
some of these seemingly masterless nurseries may be found within this forest of Sumeru. Find the glowing spirits that float over these nurseries and traverse each field without interruption or repetition, and perhaps something good will happen. In truth, it isn't good to step on fields, but your footsteps seem to be able to awaken the life of this plot of land. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> Fix the fucking community center and you can accept their quest. I will, I will. Just later, okay? I'm a bit busy, okay? I gotta, I gotta make them bank. Okay, J Jesse, we have to cook. Okay, this is this is RT Games. Uh, Stardew Valley playthrough. What the fuck is that? Yo, I saw this in one of the wide shots earlier. That looks fucking awesome, and also terrifying. Wait, why did it fade away? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that shit's weird. Well, anyways, Port Ormos. I should probably watch where I glide. Uh, yesterday you said tomorrow. I don't know, they just do it up here. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, you can! You're not going to stop there! Our Anaka quest line is infinitely long. You'll have plenty of time to build the community center later. Yeah, legit. I've got, like, I've got events to, to do, okay? I've got important events. First, let me just... Let me just at least start this Port Ormos thing. Currently, I, the, I know I do have the main quest selected. I, I will check, where is the event quest? Since I am here anyways, I'm trying to figure out if I should do the event quest first or the main quest. Let me check. Let's see... Under, unappreciated carving. Okay, yeah, no, it's pretty far away. Okay. Yeah, I just won't worry about the, worry about the main quest then, for now. <clears throat> Port Ormos is pretty great. There's so many new and interesting things, not to mention all the tasty food. <laughs> of course. Commercial port sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants, and everyone seems excited just to be here. The just do it mindset is more toxic than helpful. Yeah, I can't blame you. That's that's very accurate. It is. Oh god, I can I do know a lot of that fucking that fucking Shia LaBeouf motivational speech though. Oh god. <clears throat> It's like most people, most people reach the point where they, where they haven't made it yet, and they stop. But you're not gonna stop there, or some, or some shit. I don't know. It's it's some shit. I don't know. It's like, it's like most people fail and they don't get back up, or some shit, or you, or like they just think about it. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Do it. Make your dreams come true. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> uh, everyone seems excited just to be here. No one quite as excited as Paimon. Uh, how did things end up like this? All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. <sighs> I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. Tanja. I was gonna call him Tanger, so. R yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. The, uh, uh, the prototype went now. Uh, today. prototype went now. Well, I never mm -hmm. thought they'd just like it so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him, Shia LaBeouf. He's gaining on you. About 40 feet back. 
He gets down on all fours and 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 breaks into a sprint. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> There we go. They sound distinctly less excited. <laughs> yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. <clears throat> um, hey there. Paima's name is Paima, and she's a traveler who was just passing by. Is there something bothering you? No matter how many times she says it, no matter how many times Paimon says it, Paimon's name is Paimon. That that line, she says it every fucking time because she talks about herself in third person. I love it. It, 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 but I also hate it. Like it makes me crack up. It it makes me laugh so fucking hard. Paimon's name is Paimon, and Princess Aqua is the traveler who's passing by. <laughs> fucking hell. Just say I, Paimon. Say I'm Paimon. Say it with me. I am Paimon. <laughs> but you're all turned around. He's almost upon you now, and you can see there's blood on his face. My god, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> Katie can't refer to herself in the first person. Oh no, Katie, you've been cursed. You've been hit with the Paimon curse, no. No, Katie. Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. <laughs> uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? It's uh, too tall. It's too Aranara? tall. Uh, you mean this wood carving here? Uh, he caught third person itis from Paimon. Paimon. No. Uh, it doesn't look very happy. Uh, oh, there we have it. The verdict is in. Ugh, what a headache. I hope you recover soon, too. Not the first negative feedback we've had. Aww. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? <laughs> so, for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th mm -hmm. anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. Mm hmm. But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. Well, yeah, it doesn't exactly look as cute as maybe it should. They thought it looked like a mushroom, too, huh? No, worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. Did the kids think it looked like a dick? Were they like, <laughs> it looks like a dick. <laughs> I know kids. Kids can be pretty immature. Okay, kids can be like, <laughs> hey, daddy. Hey, daddy, it looks like your son, please be quiet. Son? Son, we're, no. We don't talk about that in public, son. And then they cover their son's mouth and eyes and ears and they walk them away. While they're like, Daddy! <laughs> Why does the R and R look phallic, Father? It's like, don't don't look at it. Don't look at it, Junior. Trust me. Trust me. You don't want to see it. It's okay. It's gonna be alright. Uh, 
Uh. I've read Uncle Tonja's R and R and the ill little fungus. It says that R and R are supposed to be chubby and squishy, but Kirby looks nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe they should have done their fucking research when they were making the fucking toy. What the hell? Toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Agreed. Whoa! That's fucking deep! What the fuck? That's certainly an interesting oh, take. A positive review. Uh, kind of a Yeah. So I would totally ask my dad to get it for me. If it wasn't meant to be an Nara. <laughs> <laughs> that took a sudden <laughs> turn for the worse. <laughs> it's not a very good portrayal of what it's going for. Oh, how did it go? Uh has it maybe uh grown on them at all? Uh unfortunately no. I'm not starting to understand how you guys feel, though. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very much understanding how the kids feel. Oh, this is such a shame. <laughs> uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondarvaville yet? Me too. Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra too. Who is he exactly? Uncle Tondra is a famous children's author here in Fort Ormos. Oh. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them. If mushrooms started to grow on me, I'd probably shut down and cry. <laughs> Just like our prototype. Can't blame you. Amara. But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something, and suddenly the children loved every one of his stories. Well, that's hmm. right. My little Gafari loves his stories too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among children. The Aranara are. Right after he the Aranara are. He went off to Gondarvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. I shall become one with the fungi and the woods. Oh no. Do not return to the earth quite yet, please. We haven't- I haven't gotten to meet you in person. I haven't gotten to give you a hug. Please don't return to the earth. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to- I will transcend our this mortal form and be a nature spirit. Can I still come visit you? Could I- could I still come visit? I'd like to be able to come visit. <laughs> Yay! I can still come visit. That's good. That's good to know. Ophiocordyceps is fucking horrifying. I don't know if I want to. If I want to know, it's a carbon R and R based on our own imaginations. Damn. You can see, this was a result. Yeah, maybe you, she needed oh, to put a little more time in. To do something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tondra in Gundarvaville? Hmm. He doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, if you could. All right. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. And, of course, you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. All right. seem pretty desperate. <laughs> Let's help them out. To see the kids smile. And also for our reward. <laughs> Paimon! 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 <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fuck! Holy shit! Okay, we'll do it so that Paimon can get her rewards. Truly, Paimon is the main character. Paimon is truly the one collecting the Prima Gems. <laughs> oh god. It's a mushroom parasite that infests ants and makes them go to- Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I I know about that shit. Yeah, that shit's fucking crazy. That shit is uh, super fucking like fucked up. <clears throat> See, uh, oh right, I missed this. Uh, the Sacred Grove is open to all who share my ideals of communism and trans rights. Pog. Pog. Do you think Paimon eats the Primo gems and vomits the character out? <laughs> oh, no, no, she better not. Cause doesn't, cause the, cause it comes from, cause the character comes from like, uh, shooting stars. R r like, like that, like, yeah. Like, there's no way that. There's no way that, that that something that horrifying happens. I refuse to accept it. No. It can't be. Paimon is Celestia. She spits the stars down from above. Oh god. The Primo Gems are just her food. She likes the taste of human food, but she doesn't get any actual sustenance from it. She needs to, um... She needs to, uh, consume Prima Gems. It's what truly feeds her. Maybe the shooting stars are then being censored. Oh god. This vomit is kind of not good to have in media. Alright, uh, that depends on the media. There's some media that will unapologetically show, show vomit. Which is quite disturbing. But they'll do it. Oh, they'll do it. The... Why? Why are you still here? I feel like you should go away after you're done. Hello, traveler. Feed me your primos. What the fuck does that say? What the fuck does that say, Ava? Think about how many anime have rainbows instead of vomit. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that shit's great. That, that shit's funny. <laughs> I do- I do like the, um... The video of, like, Paimon vomiting Primo gems. I think I've, I've seen, like, a gif of that. Or maybe it was a comic or something. Yeah, no, hold on. What is HLV Rye? H-L-V-R-A-I? Does that stand for something? Is that like an acronym? <laughs> she doesn't vomit the characters but transforms like a fucking Luma. <laughs> Should we yell his name at the top of our lungs? That sounds like a bad idea. Hey buddy, what's your name? Oh, Half-Life VR... Doing here all AI? Do you live in Gondarverville? Have like VR, but the AI itself is is self-aware. Oh, what the fuck? I've not, I've not watched that. Uh, and that sounds super freaky. Is that a? Uh, I'm guessing that's a a um. It's probably like an internet series or whatever. Done in VR. It has Holly, ho Holly, Holly Hollow Tones in it. I don't know who that is. Wait, oh, is that? Oh, oh, I know who that is, I think. Is that? that that's Holly, like the Holly, right? Like, ho like Holly. The one who loves birds, right? Former partner of, uh, of the Rubber Ross. What are these fucking cats doing? Uh, possibly she voices some of the characters in the Sonic Panda? Oh, then I have no idea. It might not be Holly, then. 
Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. I guess I'll have to... Maybe I'll have to look into it. I don't know. I never really, um... Oh, I never really was too interested in Half-Life, so... So, I don't know. Oh, I'm curious. What is this? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee for Wait, this is Kale. Everything I can to help you. <gasps> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rozzy. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gandharvaville. When people say don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. Hmm? <laughs> oh. What's up? Hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh. That voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. It's Kale. Oh, it's Kale! And a child who seems to be upset. <sighs> Let's go say hi. Absolutely. Things are good. Her true, her true description does say saw a bird once. Maybe then. I'll have to look into it. I'll have to check. Uh, I'm on a traveler. Uh, uh, I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping Master Trinari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. You seem kind of busy, though. Um, I'll be fine. Y you go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. Uh, the sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well mannered child. You can't just leave him here. Sand? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Hmm. But here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know tons of stories? The R&R &R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Hmm. Maybe there really are R&R &R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R and R stories too? Of course, mm. I love them. Definitely a different, Holly. Oh, okay. Oh, people who like R and R are the best. <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. Hmm. That's so sweet. <laughs> Aww, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend. Who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad? Oh. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better oh. now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Oh. Sure. Wow. Holly's so good with kids. A forest stranger you can trust. <laughs> what? That reminds me of a TV slogan. I don't remember which one, but it's fucking like just just the anything that you could trust. Just the fucking shit like that. God damn it. <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. Hmm. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? Uh, we actually want to go deeper into the forest. Wait, do we? Wait, what? No, no, we're, we're, we're not lost. What? Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gandharverville, looking for inspiration. Uh, wait, when you say Tanja, do you mean the Tanja? Indubitably. <clears throat> it's very late. I shall look to sleep now. All right, all right, Ava. I hope you sleep well. I'll probably end off stream soon, so you won't end up missing anything. Don't worry about it. Um. Bye, Ava. Ah.
Thank you for visiting. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. It's super fun. I love you a lot. Bruh, bruh. for a new story as we speak this is amazing uh, can you wait for me for a second i'll run razzy back to Gandaverville and then i'll be right back i've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person <laughs> maybe he's a genius who spends a lot of time in solitary confinement maybe he's one of lesser lord kusanali's familiars maybe he's from a wealthy family hmm Maybe he's a genius who spends a lot of time in solitary confinement. Tanja's just a normal guy. Oh. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Rossi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? <gasps> he's my dad. Maybe he's just Tanya, all right? Oh my god. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Uh -huh. What? What? Oh. Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... <laughs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Aww. Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gondarville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Pale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Aww. Yay! Thanks, Rosy! I'm on that we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Given how long it takes to fucking find people in this game, I thought so too. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually gonna meet C Tanja. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to farm some, uh, some level up materials. Because I want to get Kale up to snuff. I want to make a team that has Kale and Amber so that they can fight together. Hmm. I really want to do that. That'd be so cute. <laughs> Attack percent. Zero percent, zero percent. Oof. So she doesn't scale, so her attack doesn't scale off of ascension, that's for sure. <laughs> ah! Kale! So cute, so cute, so happy to see her. I'd add her to my party if she wasn't literally level 20. It feels thematically appropriate to add her to my party right now. <laughs> I want to end so bad. But I don't want to leave off on this event with like voice acted content of this one quest. Still left to go. I'm happy that I got Kale. But. God damn it. God damn it. There truly is no rest for me. I can't just stream other games, apparently. It's gotta be Genshin all day, every day. All night, every night. Wait. Oh, I went the wrong way. Cool. Hype. I was not paying attention, apparently. Typical. T typical me.
Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Time to find this fucker. My god. He really went out there. Rosie! Where are you, Rosie? Someone's calling for Rosie. Oh, Rosie! Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you a danger? Did the wild beasts scare you? Did the stars guide your way? I'm okay. All thanks to their help. Thank you. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold-hearted spino crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I, uh, I love them too. Trainee forest ranger Kale, reporting for duty. Really? Aww. I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Mm, cute. I love you, Kale. Okay then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? A granny? It's uh, it's an honor to become the source <gasps> of your inspiration. Oh. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Hey, pa Oh my god, I want to give her a hug. Are you okay? I want to give her a hug. Uh, I'm okay. Sorry. I just got a little too excited. Oh, Are cute. you two story lovers as well? Yes. Yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an aura giant and an aura finch traveling together popped into my mind. Um. We've been tasked, tasked with seeking your help. Yep, I'm the Aura Giant and she's the Aura Finch. Ah, excellent improvisation. <laughs> yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller too, you know. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. <laughs> <laughs> sure you are, Paimon. You are a finch. Uh, let's put the jokes aside and get down to business. Business. A car crafts. A car crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, <laughs> what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. He's speaking in metaphors, Paimon. He's a he's a fucking word. He's he he's he he's a master of words. Okay, he speaks in tongues. All writers do this. We 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 just suddenly start speaking in another language of metaphors. And symbols. Do? Uh, do you think we should get to to take a look at him? <laughs> no, Perhaps he's fine. Talk about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara, because right now he has something more important to do. Yep. Oh, that's what he meant. Well, there it is. All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanger's son. When the child has better media literacy than the celestial being and the world traveling. You know what? Whatever. It's I guess literature isn't our forte. Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanger, your help is pretty 
very vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something. But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjur, have found evidence of R&R activity right here in the Avidia Forest. Conclusively proving that R and R not only exist in stories, but in real life too. True. If I manage to document the first real life R and R sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time. Meanwhile, oh, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the academia. Then all across Sumeria uh. will know of the great Tanja living in humble Port Ormos. Bo bold, um, bold goals there. Those are pretty, um, uh, does everyone want to rule Sumeru? Jesus. Uh, <sighs> um, <laughs> I haven't written any papers myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. <laughs> Is he the evil team of this region? What did you mean by evidence of R and R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanjur never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me. <laughs> Wait, not that way. Kale, what's wrong? Hmm. Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Avidia Forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanjur's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Hmm. Maybe there's something else going on. Maybe that's the secret Razi was keeping. I will capture the legendary hearts of the children. And I will use them to take over the nation. <clears throat> <laughs> Listen up, buddy. Don't do it dangerous. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. I'm just not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Also, make evil teams better. Agreed. You too will understand. Um, I'm not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow. Open your heart, and it'll be alright. My cat uh walked onto my desk. And so now I'm holding her. She doesn't like to be held. But she's so cute. Aren't you? Oh, you're so cute. You're so, so cutie. Yes, you I are. Oh, you're so, so cutie. For I, Fischl, and the princess and oh. Dipper Ert. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I don't know if you can hear her purr. Maybe not. Maybe you can't. Oh, you're cutie. You're such a cutie. Wow, she's letting me hold her for a pretty long time. She hasn't struggled too much. Oh, there I we go. The there we go. All right. All right. All right. You can be free. Okay. Supplication. Cute. I love her. I love kitty. Okay. Uh, anyways. All right. Let's take a look. It's, is this a piece of paper? You guess this is just one of his stories? Oh. The handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. I know. Um, do R and R need to learn about mushroom classification? Yeah, I don't know about that. Here's another note that says, "This tree hollow is my castle." Sounds like a kid. Kind of sounds like something a kid would say. There's another one here. 
Oh! I guess it is an R&R. Yeah, right? Do you want to be clever like an Aranara, or do you want to be clever as an Aranara? Because you are an Aranara and you want to be clever. Which one is it, damn it? Are you sure you didn't just plant these notes? How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? They look like messages left by children. Uh, the crude handwriting may look like a child, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lonely tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is in fact the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about Could be that. a kid. Could be Kali. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever It's Kali. Kali wrote this. I shall craft a new story. Kali wrote and this. And call it The Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. No, not really. Not at all. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible yeah, I think it was the kid. imagination, making it hard for them to keep up well, with the train of thought. Well, the thing is, Kale also has bad handwriting. Like, Kale is also, like, only just learning to read and has bad handwriting, so it could be Kale, and I think How it is. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just I know they were, but... Maybe not? Uh, anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so... She's being sus. She's being sus. Guess who called it? Guess who probably called it? Guess who probably called it? Yeah, that's right. It might be Kale. Kale, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. Mm. Overwhelming. Oh, yes. Yes, overwhelming. Mm. Now, I've decided to stay here with Rosie until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Uh. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara <laughs> Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja. In R&R and the Three Little Fungus, it says that r, &R are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that another story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. What? <laughs> you don't even in remember the case, stuff on your own stories? Let's go back to camp and call oh it my god. Home. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. Yay. All right. Kali is going to be like, what am I going to do? How am I going to get there to be a real Aranara here? I got to do something. Or maybe I should find a new hollow to find my, to, to call my castle. Cause she, oh, 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 yeah. Cause Kale wants a castle, like in Mondstadt. Cause Mondstadt has a castle. Kinda. It has kind of like a castle wall, kind of like design to it. I could see her being like, "Oh, I want a castle. I want my own castle." <laughs> What's wrong? Did the Arnara show up? It's not the Arnara. It's Kale. She's gone. I figured. Oh, I must have been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us she was okay after we saw the evidence of Arnora activity, 
She's been acting kind of strange. I noticed that too. Anyway, let's go find her. You've got about making a toy for her, a car crash. Yeah, hey, classic. Look. Wait, I want to see her little footprints. I want to see her little footprints. Did they really not texture her little footprints on the, on the ground? That's so sad. So Kali came back here alone. Is she waiting for the R and R to show up? And I thought this was a place nobody knew about. Oh. I thought Tanja would find it, and that I would run into the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have just told the Tree Hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to oh. do this handwriting. Oh. So I created a whole new problem for myself. Hmm. What do I do now? Dress up as an Aranara? Oh. oh no, 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 that won't work. I should be writing something that an Aranara would never say, so that Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. Oh. But what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Oh, I love you oh. so much, Kale. There's no way Tanja could see this as the work of an Aranara. So the evidence of Aranara activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of Kale's activity. Yeah. But why didn't she just tell Tanja? Mm, perhaps that's her secret. I mean, she is embarrassed that she doesn't know how to, like, write. Oh, right. Kale told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Kale must have her reasons. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Absolutely. Oh. Looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Oh boy. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. <sighs> yeah. Yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Uh huh. Let's what does it say? Oh boy. Ooh, what can it be? Please tell me she said a swear. It says fuck. That can't be right. What? Fuck? Surely this must mean something different in the R and R language. I don't think an R and R would know the word fuck. Hmm. It's quite odd. This one seems even more poorly spelled. Oh, it's the Eggman copy behind <laughs> Kali just wrote fucking, I've come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> he pissed up my fucking wife. <laughs> and, 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 and like this guy's just reading it like, what the fuck is this? I, uh, uh, R and R's are crazy little creatures. Wow, wacky. What could it be? Uh, oh my God, it's face. I want to visit Monstep during the Ludi Harpastum again. No, that, that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an R and R go to Monstep for the Ludi Harpastum? <laughs> Who the fuck is Shadow the Hedgehog? And why did he piss on 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 this person's wife? That's horrid. What the fuck? Why would you piss on someone's wife? And uh, wh what creature could possibly have the audacity to do such a thing? The R the Aranara has a wife? would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left 
possessed by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an R&R app. No. No, I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Tundra falls into deep silence when faced by the facts. Please help Akara crafts, buddy. Sh Shadow the Hedgehog has the fucking audacity. <laughs> Only Shadow. Only Shadow would have the the audacity to do such a thing. Please help Akara crafts. Why? What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. And Rouge. <laughs> didn't didn't the entirety of, of um Oh they would both piss in a hot topic, that's true. Wait. Would Rouge piss in a hot topic? Or would she just help Shadow do it? I don't remember. Did Rouge say that she also wanted to piss in a hot Oh yeah, she did. She did, yeah, that's true. I think that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you, Tanja. No! I can't do it. I thought that what? if I could find an R and R, I'd be able to help Akara crafts. Oh. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. Oh. You've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real R and R, right? What makes this so different? I. Uh, uh, Rosie, you tell them. Really? Uh, can I? Are you the writer of all the stories, Razi? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon. Do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? Yep, I do. <sighs> I didn't want to tell anyone the secret. But it made me feel very sad and also turned dad into a completely different person. Okay, now I actually really want to know what this is. So, I think I should tell you. Okay. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those r and stories. <gasps> what? Hold oh on. my god, wait. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author <gasps> then, who was it? Uh, wait, you don't mean... It was me. <gasps> Holy I shit. I've stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh, <laughs> hey. Hey. He's just not Dad using them well, then. Telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. <sighs> Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Mm. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, <laughs> I was happy. Aww. Then one day... I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. Aww. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got mm. to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. Hmm. You remember it so vividly. It's not only Rosie. I too remember every detail of what happened that day. 
After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. But using your son's stories. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanta's son instead of Razi. I mm. kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Mm. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling, like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Razi so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Mm. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, dedicated to my dearest Razi. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R and R to look like a secret. Wait, Paimon gets it now. Hmm. Interesting. All of Uncle Tanja's fairy tales were actually stories written by Razi. And because Razi didn't want Tanja to keep Thanks, Paimon, away, for the recap. He refused to help him with the car and crafts. For all the slow people not paying attention. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. Not even a funny one. Aww. Aww. Father. Aww. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. And I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Razi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Aww. Are we gonna let this happen? It's up to Razi. I mean, I would like to help. Need to help Akara Crafts with their carving? I mean, yeah. Well, I did mention what the R and R looked like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. Okay. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my R and R stories. So I want to visit mm. more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an R and R carving that everyone will love. Mm. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. Aww. You, you still want me to come with you? He Even still loves his gone? dad. Yeah, of course. Come on. Aww. You're the best dad ever. Oh, yeah, because he did it all for his family, yeah. too. This is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. <clears throat> I want to thank you, Kale. Aww. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. Hmm. Yeah. It's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. True. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt. But when I look back on them, it all feels more like uh, a new beginning. Oh, wait, 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 Kale, wait, 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 I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. And wait, Monstat? Did you just say you've been to Monstat? Kale, no, you are uh, I just, uh, just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now. Oh, God. 
Oh, Kale. Let's go, Razi. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. Oh, Kale. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm, Come poor on, little thing. Aww. Razi, slow down and watch your step. Looks like everyone's in good spirits. Let's catch up with them. <sighs> I'm really happy. That's really great. Alright, you will discover all sorts of new and fascinating things while exploring Sumeru. So why not use, the, use an exquisitely crafted camera to record them down? While using the camera, if the viewfinder has objects worth keeping a record of and in view, the camera will display information related to them. Nice. Uh, adjust your photo taking distance and camera zoom to more easily spot the designated photo targets. Also, this camera can only be used in Sumeru. It's 20th anniversary hmm. of a Wonders what the children thought of the iron R carvings we helped create. Let's go check it out. We we wait, we already finished we already helped create it? What? What is that? Wait, but we didn't do anything. Pybot, we didn't do anything. Pybot, we didn't do anything. Pybot, we didn't do anything. What what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Paimon? <clears throat> wow. Ooh, ooh, this is fancy! Ooh. Okay, wow, yeah, this is... Oh my god. Okay, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot here. Okay. Oh my god. Meticulous craftsmanship. Oh, okay. And this is the the thing. This that's the quest. My god. Clearly you just associated for the three days you spent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh and I totally missed it. I like forgot. I just like got to full ass amnesia. <laughs> Of, like, the entire time. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, so all of these are... Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay. So this, so this is some good stuff. Yo, yo, that's how many primos? Six times five is... Thirty... Three hundred primo. Cool, yo. And of course, and of course, is a crown. You gotta get your crowns, you know. There's a li only a limited number of them, so. I mean, unless you, you know. Oh yeah, and EXP, and EXP. That's true. And there's so much more primo to get. Or well, this is just to get the, the points and stuff, so that you can get the, other stuff. But this, I think this just gives you primo. No, this gives you the other credits. What the fuck, dude? There's so many fucking things. They all do different things. They just give you primo. They just give you some primo. My god, so many things. So much to do. So much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Alright, yeah. I'm probably gonna do a lot of this event stuff off camera. Off stream. Uh, Maybe I'll record it. But generally, this just seems like, yeah, it's like, uh, I, I don't want to, I'll, I'll do, like, the, the closing quest on stream nearer to the end of the event or something. Um, but the rest of this, I, oh my god, I need to, I need to stop streaming Genshin. I've been streaming Genshin for two weeks in a row, and I need a break. Oh my god. So yeah, thank you, thank you all for joining me and watching, uh, thank you Katie for sticking around to the end, uh, you get my, my thumbs up, seal of approval, yeah, if I could move my arms I would give a thumbs up, Splatoon stream next, uh, no guarantees, I might, uh, I might, I might be streaming, uh, Klonoa 2, uh, cause I really wanted to stream Klonoa 2 a while ago, 
And I I own it. I have the fucking Fantasy Reverie series. I want to play Clonoa 2. And one of my friends already beat Clonoa 2. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to be I want to play Clonoa 2. Uh, so yeah, I will probably catch you all. Maybe that'll be my next stream. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'll play something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I look forward to catching you all later. Thank you. And good night. Good, good, mm, good, good, good. Glute, gluten night. Don't forget to, don't forget to gluten, put gluten on your nights. All nights need gluten. You need gluten. Put gluten on your nights. Night, night, night.